so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I was just sipping on my hot cocoa. <laughs> I sure do love drinking hot cocoa during the holiday season. Yeah, the holidays. I sure do love this time of year. So many people celebrate the holiday season in so many different ways. Yeah, but today I'm gonna celebrate it as Christmas. Yeah, and look at all these Christmas decorations. Whoa, check this out. Yeah, this right here, this is a Christmas tree. Yeah, but hey, I don't have a Christmas tree around here, so I have an idea. Why don't I go to a Christmas tree farm and go get one, and then we can decorate it. Yeah! Hello! Hey, look at all of these trees! Whoa! Check out this tree! This tree is so big! Whoa! It's way taller than me. <laughs> but hey, we need a tree, but we don't want a tree this big. Oh, let's see. Oh! Hey, speaking of a small tree, <laughs> look at this one. <laughs> hey! <laughs> okay, well for me, I'm trying to find the perfect tree. Yeah, now I actually like a little smaller tree. Some people like big trees. Whoa, look at this. Oh, this looks like the perfect tree. All right, I'm gonna use this saw because I'm a grown up. And then I'm gonna saw down this tree. All right, here we go. Did you see that? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put the saw back. Okay, nice and safe. All right, check it out. Look at what we got. We got ourselves, yeah, a tree. <laughs> All right, let's take it back so then we can decorate it. <laughs> this is awesome. Whoa, check out what I have. Yeah, it's a tree. Whoa, this isn't a very big Christmas tree, but it's really cute, huh? Yeah! Whoa! All right, so the first thing we have to do, yeah, is lean the tree on its side. So then we can take the tree stand, set it all up, yeah, so then we can put the tree in it and make it nice and tight so then it doesn't fall over. All right, let me put this right in here. Whoa! All right, I'm gonna tighten it up. Whoa! 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 All right, let me, just a little bit more. This is a little tricky. Hey, there we go. How does that look? Yeah, it's standing up all on its own <laughs> without any of my help. All right, so let's see. See this tree? Yeah, it's not Christmas yet. So it's gonna be sitting here for a while. So the first thing we need to do is take some water and then give the tree some water. Yeah, it soaks up some water from its base. Here you go, tree. <laughs> yeah, trees like water, just like you and me. Water is so great, <laughs> cause it hydrates us. Ah, <sighs> I love water. <laughs> Okay, wow, what a great tree. And we have water with the tree. And uh, what are we missing? Yeah, Christmas tree decorations. Okay, why don't I get the decorations and then you and I can decorate the tree together. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Hmm. <laughs> I sure do love Christmas, <laughs> cause there's a lot of cookies. Okay, anyways, there's a lot of Christmas tree decorations in here. So, let me dump them out and then we'll see what we have. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> Look at what we have. All right, so. Whoa! Look at this. This is the topper. This goes on top of the tree. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a star. Wow. <laughs> Okay, we'll do that at the very end. We'll put that right there for now. <laughs> okay, and now we have some ornaments. And these ornaments, yeah, they look like trains. Choo-choo! 
Choo choo! <laughs> okay, I love train ornaments. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> wow! This, yeah, this is called tinsel. Whoa, it's so soft. <laughs> Makes me sneeze when it tickles my face. <gasps> <laughs> okay, let's put that right over here. <laughs> oh, whoa. Two more terrain ornaments. <laughs> choo choo. All right, there we go. Now we have four. Two plus two is four. One, two, three, four. All right. Whoa, what's in here? Whoa. More ornaments. Yeah, and these are blue and silver ornaments. <laughs> okay, we'll put those right next to these trains. And then, whoa, look at what we have. Yeah, orange and blue lights. Wow, my two favorite colors. <laughs> okay, let's put the lights on first. All right, here we go. Got to stretch them out. First, let's plug them in. We need some power. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> All right, here's the power plug. All right, and actually, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna put them on first, and then we'll power them up to see how we did. So first, let me put them all the way around. Here we go. Wow. Okay, I wrapped the lights all the way around the tree multiple times. So now for the grand finale. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! It is so beautiful! Yeah! We did it! How does it look? Well, it looks great. All right, let's see. What else do we have here? Yeah, the tinsel. Let's put on some tinsel. Yeah, we'll do the same thing. We just wrap it around the tree. Yeah, this looks really good. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we have the lights, we have the tinsel, and now we need some ornaments. Okay, here's some trains. There's one train. Here's another train. I'm about right there. Two more trains. Okay. And then the last one, let's put about right in the middle. There we go. How does that look? I think it looks pretty good. Okay. Now we have a lot more ornaments to do. So I'm gonna put these on really quick. Ready? we go how do those look yeah what a beautiful tree okay we have one last thing oh, wow the tree topper you wait till the very end to put this on all right here we go wow we did such a great job decorating this Christmas tree together. Doesn't it look really good? Yeah, we have the star, we have some tinsel, we have some ornaments, yeah. And can't forget about the blue and orange blippy lights. <laughs> wow. Well, I had a lot of fun with you, but this is the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippy. Good job. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm sure I'll see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, friends. It's me, Blippi. Today, we're visiting animals. 
Ready to meet some friends at the zoo? Come on! So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and today I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Hey, check it out. This is the zoo information area. Yeah, it has a map of the zoo. Hmm, I wonder what animals we're gonna see today at the zoo. Oh, maybe we'll see. Ooh, a grizzly bear. That would be so cool. Or, um, oh, they have gorillas here too. Oh, and they have so many different kinds of animals, like flamingos. Wow! Oh! Whoa! Look at this tall animal! This is a giraffe! That is such a tall animal! Well, there's some animals for us to go learn about. Let's go! <laughs> Whoa! Look at this place! Yeah, this habitat looks like Alaska! Or the Pacific Northwest! Or Canada! <laughs> yeah! And I have some enrichment for this animal. But hey! Let me have you guess what animal this habitat is for. Yeah, it's a bear. It's a real big bear. Oh, it's brown. Yeah, it's a grizzly bear. Whoa, that is so crazy. Hey, all right, I got permission that I can spread this food and enrichment out so then the bear can enjoy it. Let's go. Okay, first I have some coffee grounds. See this? Yeah, that's just normal coffee. So if you sprinkle some right here, yeah, maybe the bear will roll in it. The bear loves to roll in coffee. <laughs> okay, how about right here? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, and maybe, uh, maybe some right here. There we go, all right. Let's uh, put this right here and we will definitely grab that before we leave. Okay, look at these. These are biscuits. <laughs> yeah, this grizzly bear loves these biscuits. So I'll just try and, uh, you know, put some around here. Ooh, there we go. All right, let me throw some to give it a nice pat. Hey, oh, what is this? Pumpkin pie spice? Yum! <laughs> All right, let's just sprinkle some of this right around here. All right, I still have some biscuits. Check this out. Yeah, there's a lot of fruits and vegetables in there. Yeah, I love fruits and vegetables. Yeah, like celery with some peanut butter and honey on top. Yum! <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have some grapes. Yum! Ooh, and we have some pears. And we have some carrots. Whoa! And some apples. Whoa! And some watermelons. Yeah, put some biscuits right here on this little island. <laughs> All right, perfect. Ooh, this food smells so good. All right, sprinkle some more pumpkin spice. All righty. And then I'm going to make it all the way down there to put some more food down there. Wow, this bear is gonna have some good eating around here. <laughs> hey, and now let me get my container and then we'll let the bear out so then he can have some yummy snacks. <laughs> Whoa, check it out, there's Kima. Kima is a giant grizzly bear and he is loving those snacks we put out for him. Good job, let's check him out. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is Dave. 
and Dave is a giraffe. He is so tall! Here you go, Dave. I'm feeding Dave some romaine lettuce. Dave loves lettuce and romaine. Hey, how are you? Whoa, check this out. Dave is using his tongue kind of like a hand to grab his food to pull it up into his mouth. Wow, Dave is so cool. <laughs> Here you go, Dave. All right. Okay, see you later, Dave. I have more animals to go visit. Let's go! Gorilla Habitat. Whoa, look at her. She is so cute. Whoa. Yeah, they're throwing some enrichment out. So then the gorillas have some snacks. I love snacks. All these gorillas here, the group is actually called a troop. Whoa, group rhymes with troop. <laughs> wow, all of these gorillas are actually females, except for two. Did you see the big one? Yeah, with the silver back? Yeah, that gorilla is the head honcho of this troop, and that is a silver back. And all of these gorillas are western lowland gorillas. Whoa! And there's also a second male. It's the little baby. Oh, so cute. <laughs> all right, let's watch him eat some food. it out. Yeah, these are garden fruit chafers. It's a type of beetle. Do you see what kind of food they're eating? Whoa! Yeah, looks like bananas. Yum! I like bananas too. Whoa! Look at where I'm at. I'm at Bug World Lab. Yeah, this is where all the bugs hang out and eat and sleep. Yeah, this is where they primarily live. Whoa! Looks like a lot of tarantulas up there. Whoa! And down here, a stick insect. A New Guinea stick insect. Whoa! That is so crazy! Wow, there are so many different types of bugs and insects back here. Whoa! Even more, oh, spiders. Ooh, and a venomous spider. We definitely don't want to open that one up. But hey, maybe if we go in the other room, they'll bring out some bugs for us to see up close and personal. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, this is a jungle nymph. Wow, what color is she? Yeah, yeah, she is the color green. I actually knew it was a she because the males are brown and she is green. Yeah, do you see how she looks like a leaf? Yeah, she looks like a green leaf. But if it was a guy, he would look like a brown leaf. <laughs> wow, jungle nymphs are the heaviest insects in the world. Yeah, she's not even full grown yet and look how big she is. Whoa! Looks like she's just doing some stretches. <laughs> That's so silly. Wow, she is so cool looking. Whoa! Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this looks like a spider. Whoa, it is such a big spider. This is actually a Chilean rosehair tarantula. 
Whoa, hello! I used to be really afraid of spiders, but not anymore. This one's actually really nice. Yeah, if I let it crawl on me, it wouldn't even bite me. This one is very nice, and it looks really hairy. Look at her. Oh, yeah. This is actually a female. Whoa, and she is about 17 years old. Wow, what a cute little insect. Well, not little. <laughs> so big. <laughs> Whoa, what are these? These are flamboyant flower beetles. Wow, and they're so shiny. Yeah, the two colors that I see on them are green and yellow. Oh, and their little horns, the males, yeah, they have horns. It looks like it's the color red, orangish. Whoa, they're just hanging out on this log. They love to eat fallen fruit. Yum, I love fruit too. <laughs> wow, check it out. I have some crustaceans on this piece of plexiglass. <laughs> yeah, these are perchula snails. Wow, they are so cute. Do you see how they have little hard shells? Yeah, that helps protect them. Wow, they're from the location of Tahiti. Wow, I love Tahiti. It's so sunny and beautiful there. <laughs> well, actually, there's none of these left in the wild. They're only in zoos, captivity. And we're actually trying to put them back out into their normal habitats. For now, we can just observe them and watch them eat their food. <laughs> Hello! Wasn't that fun learning about animals today at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington? Yeah, it sure was. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'm gonna go learn more about animals. Here I go. Ooh, hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at where we're at. Yeah, today I'm at Wiggleworks Indoor Playground in Bellevue, Washington. And you and I are gonna learn so much in here. And I am so excited to exercise and learn. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I am so excited to learn today. <laughs> but the first thing we have to do at an indoor playground is, yeah, take off our shoes. All right, there's one shoe, two shoes. All right, here we go. Let's put them right here. Wow, look at this place. This place is awesome. Oh, let's go. Whoa, whoa, like I'm standing on water. Whoa. Set of monkey bars. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Hello! Hey! Whoa! Oh! Hey, puppy dog! Yeah! Look! It's a puppy dog! What color is this puppy dog? Wow! This puppy dog is the color blue! Oh! There's another one over here! Oh! Hello! <laughs> what color is this puppy dog? Hey! Yeah, this puppy dog is the color white. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Let's take a look at this awesome device. <laughs> what color is this handle that you grab onto to get to the top? See? Whoa! Whoa! Hey! <laughs> okay. Let's go back to this. What color is this? Yeah, it's the color green. Whoa! Woo! 
Can you think of anything that's the color green? Yeah, maybe something that goes on the ground, maybe in your front yard, or at a park. Yeah, grass is the color green. Woo -wee. Whoa, look at this handle right here. Wow, yeah, this handle is a different color. Whoa, it's really strong and sturdy. So then I can climb up to the top. <laughs> wow, but this handle is a different color. What color is it? Yeah, it's the color blue. <laughs> Woo! Can you think of anything that's the color blue? Yeah, maybe something you swim in. Maybe it's something you drink. Water is the color blue. <laughs> it's actually clear, but yeah, we'll just say it's the color blue. <laughs> Woohoo! Come on! Here we go! yellow to pink, greenish yellow to pink. What do you think the next color would be? Yeah, greenish yellow. And then what about the next? Yeah, pink, greenish yellow to pink, greenish yellow to pink. challenging because you have to push these things in circles Whee! or humps or loop-de-loops <laughs> wow look at this whoa you see this there's a lot of bumps right here it's really bumpy whoa hey look at this wow what shape is this yeah, this is a circle. Wow, and this circle is really flat. Yeah, and it's really smooth too. Wow. <laughs> hey, what color is this circle? <laughs> Wee! <laughs> yeah, what color? Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, it's the color pink. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. Hello! Whoa! What shape is this? Yeah, this is a circle as well. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo>! Whoa! <laughs> All right. Whoa! Check this out. There's two smooth humps right here. Wow! One is small. 
one is medium. And if I put this right over here, whoa! Look at this! Small, medium, large! That is one large hump or bump. And if I had a dirt bike, ring! Whoa, you could catch some big air off of these bumps. <laughs> okay, let's go this way and explore some more. Whoa, this has been so much fun learning with you at this play place. Woohoo! Look at the ground. What two colors do you see? Yeah, yellow and blue. Of the color yellow, can you think of a couple things that are the color yellow? Yeah! How about the sun? Woohoo! The sun is the color yellow, but you never want to look at it. Yeah, bad for your eyes. Hey! What about a flower? Yeah, flowers can be yellow. Ooh, and a bee? Yeah, bees are yellow and black. Okay, what about Blue! Yeah, I like the color blue. It's one of my favorite two colors. Woohoo! Blue and orange, of course. Hey, can you think of a fruit that's the color blue? Yeah, blueberries! Blueberries are so yummy! Hey, all right. Woohoo! Hey, I have a game. Once we see the color flash on the screen, I'm gonna have to jump to that color. But we need to think of an animal, like how to jump like. Hmm, how about like a bunny? Like this? Yeah, I like bunnies. Yeah, they love carrots. And they love to jump. <laughs> okay, what about a kangaroo? Yeah, that's a good option. Did you know kangaroos carry their babies in their pouch? That is so cute! <laughs> or a frog! <laughs> That's another great option. Frogs love to live near swamps. <laughs> okay, let's act like kangaroos and get ready to jump. Alright. Yeah, I'm on yellow! Uh, oh, blue! acting like a kangaroo. <laughs> okay, let's keep learning. Wow, look at how many blocks I collected. Let's count them all. Okay, looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Four plus four plus three is eleven. Okay. What if we went like this? <laughs> now we have four plus four is eight. Eight plus three is 11. Whoa! Now we have 11 blocks. Hey, what shape are these? Yeah, these are all the shape of a rectangle. Wow! Hey, and do you see one big rectangle with all of them? Yeah! Rectangle this way, and 11 small rectangles. Whoa! Rectangles are awesome! Whoa! Oh, that's silly! Whoa, look at this! Wow, what is this contraption? 
contraption. Whoa! Hey! Check it out! Maybe if I sit on it, it'll take me for a ride. <laughs> Shape. What do you see? Wow! Yeah, it looks like a triangle. Whoa! I love shapes. Hey, look at this over here. This doesn't remind me of a shape. This reminds me of a piece of candy. Yum! I love candy, especially after I eat all my healthy vegetables first. Yeah, but hey, what kind of piece of candy does this remind you of? Yeah, looks like a candy cane! Whoa! I love candy canes! This has been so much fun learning with you! Yeah, I love the exercise we've been getting and the education! Come on! Sanka stands for School of Acrobatics and New Circus Arts. Yeah! Have you ever been to a circus before? I love circuses! They are awesome! And today, you and I are going to learn about some circus art. <laughs> wow! Look at this place! It is so cool! And the floor that we're on is pretty bouncy! Whoa! Okay, the first thing I need to do is take off my shoes. All right, there we go. Let me put them right over here. And now, before we do anything with circus, we need to stretch. All right. Oh, whoa. Yeah, it's really important to stretch so then our muscles are nice and loose. So then we don't injure ourselves. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. Woo. Oh, I stretched out my back, my legs, my arms. Oh. Now that I'm all stretched, I think we should learn the rules of the circus. 
Whoa! Check him out. The rules of circus. Yeah. Number one, have fun. <laughs> That's pretty easy. We love to have fun. Number two, be safe. Yeah, safety is really important. We definitely don't want to get hurt, do we? No. Number three, work hard. Yeah, I love working hard because it's so fun to start at one point and get to another. And the only way you can improve is working hard. <laughs> and number four, be kind to each other. I love being kind. It's so cool that you are kind to your friends and family. Good job. All right, now it's time for some circus stuff. Woohoo! Hey, check out what I'm on. Woohoo! Yeah! Do you know what this is? Whoa! Yeah, this is a trampoline. Check it out. The bouncy part. Yeah, what color is this? Yeah, this is the color black. Oh, and look at this. A safety pad. Just in case if you go off the center and then you don't get hurt. What color is the safety pad? Yeah, it's the color Red! <laughs> All right, let me jump. Woohoo! Can you think of an animal that can jump real high? Whoa! Yeah, how about one that carries its babies in a pouch? Yeah! Yeah, a kangaroo! Boing, boing, boing! Woohoo! What about one that loves to be in the swampy areas and it makes it sound like ribbit? Ribbit. Woohoo! Yeah, a frog! Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! Jumping is so much fun! Whoa! Did you see that? That was awesome! <laughs> hey, Bleepy! Hey! How are you doing? Yeah, good! That was awesome! Thank you so much! What's your name? My name is Max. Oh, nice to meet you, Max. Do you know how to jump on the trampoline? I sure do. Will you show us? Yeah. Stay right here. Kneel right here and wait for me. OK. Ready? are called aerial silks. Whoa, they're so cool. Yeah, and I am in a green silk and Max is on a purple silk. Whoa, check it out. It's like I'm in a cocoon. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Can you think of an insect that hangs out in a cocoon? Whoa! Yeah. They start as a normal insect, then they go in a cocoon, they go through metamorphosis, and then they turn into a butterfly! Yeah! I'm a caterpillar! Whoa! Look at Max! He's the butterfly! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, check it out! This is a tight wire. Yeah, this is where you can practice your balance. Yeah! And balance is really important because, yeah, you might need it for things. If you don't have any balance, you'll just fall over. Whoa! You see what I'm using on my hands? Yeah, these are sticks. Just in case, if I need a little help, Whoa, whoa, <laughs> that was silly. I just fell. Let me try it again. Whoa, that's tricky. Wow, look at how good she is.
Wow, she is so good. Hey, maybe now we can keep balancing on the balls. Wow, look at all these balls. Yeah, this is another great way to learn how to balance. Whoa, check it out. Look at this ball. <laughs> Whoa, whee. <laughs> yeah, I'm balancing on my stomach. Whoa, <laughs> that's hard. But hey, let's count all these balls. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Do you see how this ball's in a circle? Yeah, this actually will stabilize the ball. So then when I try and stand on it, then it won't move around so much. All right, okay, let's try this. Whoa. I am so excited. Whoa, 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 it's harder than it looks. Whoa, whoa, if this stabilizer ring wasn't here, I probably wouldn't be able to do it. Whoa, okay, let's see someone good do it. been so much fun learning about all these things circus related. Whoa, check it out. Wow, looks like we have some really cool things like rings. Whoa, yeah, they're so colorful. Hello, hey. <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have some really light scarves. Wow, <laughs> and looks like we have this wood stick. Whoa, what is that for? And a plate? Yeah, a green plate. I know what to do with this. <laughs> wow. Maybe, maybe I could juggle. Wait, he's not juggling. He's balancing. Let's try it out. Whoa, do you see how I just spun it really fast? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put it on my fingertip. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, 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 that's awesome. <laughs> All right, get ready for this. I'm gonna put it on my forehead and see if I can balance it. Ready? Whoa, whoa. Silly. Okay, let's see what else we have over here. Yeah, remember the scarves? What color are these scarves? Yeah, this one is the color pink. This one is the color orange. And this one is the color yellow. And you know what I like to do when I have three items? Yeah, juggle. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! This is so cool! <laughs> yeah! I love juggling. Hey, speaking of juggling, maybe I could take these rings and juggle the rings. <laughs> First, what color are these rings? Yeah! A green circle, an orange circle, a red circle, a yellow circle, and a blue circle. All right. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Awesome. All right, let's take three of them. 
This is gonna be a little bit trickier. Here we go. Woo, how'd I do? <laughs> Whoa. Hey. Yeah, a giant circle. Whoa. Do you know what this is? <laughs> yeah. This is a hula hoop. Whoa. Whoa, check it out. Whoa. Yeah. Woo. Woo. <laughs> oh, and watch this trick. When you spin it backwards, then it'll come back to you. Ready? Whoa. Ready? Max is riding a unicycle. Whoa, that is so cool. Yeah, it kind of looks like a bicycle. Yeah, but bi means two. Yeah, two wheels and tires. But unicycle, una means one. Check it out. Whoa, all of these unicycles have one wheel and tire. Whoa! That one, and this one. Look at this! This frame is the color yellow. Whoa! Wow! Whoa! Look at how small this is! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> they are so hard to ride! Whoa! This one is so tall! Whoa! How do you even get up on this? <laughs> I don't even know. Whoa. <laughs> okay, maybe I should find one that fits me. How about this one? This one looks perfect. All right, let me try and ride this unicycle. Okay. Do you see how I have these bars next to me? It's so then I can hold on. And when I'm learning, I can learn this way and it'll help me balance. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I definitely couldn't do this without holding on to these bars. Yeah, unicycles are actually harder to ride than bicycles in my, my opinion. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Yeah, it's probably because on a bicycle, you don't have to balance forward and backward. You just have to balance Side to side, but in unicycle, whoa, whoa, you have to balance forward and backward. Whoa, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try it with no hands. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, I almost fell. Let me try it again. Here I go. Whoa. Look at this place. This is the fly room. Whoa! And check it out. See all this? This is their trapeze setup. It is so cool. Trapeze is awesome. It's when people climb really high up in the air and then they swing while holding onto a bar. Sometimes they just fall down to the net and sometimes they grab onto other people. Hey, speaking of the net, check it out. Whoa, that looks like a really soft landing. <laughs> hey, come on. Wow. Hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Caitlin. Oh, nice to meet you, Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin does the trapeze here and she is really good. Will you show us some trapeze? Definitely. <laughs> Whoa! 
been so much fun learning about circus training with you. Did you have fun? Yeah, I did too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Good job. Wow. This has been so much fun. Woohoo! Yeah! Whoa! Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi. And look at where I'm at. Yeah, I am at Valley Auto in Tenino, Washington. This is where they work on vehicles. Whoa, do you see that truck up there? Whoa, it's so high up there. That's crazy. Whoa, so many cool machines in here. Come on. Whoa, look at this big truck. Do you see how it's on the ground? Yeah, they're on the ground, but then they use these big things called lifts to go underneath and lift it up to the sky. So then the mechanics can work underneath the truck and car, so then they don't have to bend down or be uncomfortable. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this. Whoa, this is so heavy. Wow, this is a battery. Yeah, most vehicles have batteries, so then it helps them turn on. Yeah, land also, turn on the radio. <laughs> and things like that. Yeah, batteries have electricity stored inside. Ooh, look at these. These are hose clamps. Whoa, there's a small one. And here is a big one. These are what goes around hoses and clamps them nice and tight. Hey, what shape are these? Yeah, these are circles. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's put those back. Let's keep exploring. Whoa! Look at all of these. Do you see these? Wow. This right here, yeah, is a nut, washer, and a bolt. This is what you use to tighten things. Yeah, nice and close together. Like, say, if there is a piece of metal right here and another piece of metal, you could tighten it nice and tight so then it doesn't slip and slide. <laughs> All right, let's put that back. Uh, <laughs> okay, woo, so cool. Whoa, this is a massive engine. That looks so powerful. Wow, so cool. Well, hey, let's see. Oh, look at this. Remember earlier how I said that the lift lifts up the truck so the mechanic can stand up nice and tall? Well, sometimes you might not have a lift and you need to get really low on the ground and work on the vehicle from the ground. Whoa, hey, whoa, wee, <laughs> look at me go. I'm a mechanic, wee. <laughs> Yeah, you can slide because it has wheels. Okay, all right, enough playing around. Let's get to work. Oh, hey, it's someone else. Who are you? Colton. Oh, nice to meet you, Colton. Well, what are you doing over there? Uh, getting ready to weld. Oh, weld? That's really cool. Hey, do you know what welding is? Yeah, welding's where you take two pieces of metal and apply some electricity, heat, some gas, and it becomes so hot, they come, become connected. Yeah, it's kind of like glue, but for metal. <laughs> well, Colt, will you show us how to do it? Yep, I just need to lift up the truck. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> Wow. 
Wow, do you see what they're doing? Yeah, there's, they're using those metal posts to go under the truck. So then they can work underneath it safely so it doesn't fall on them. Okay, let's watch them weld. like he has some safety gear. Check it out. <laughs> See these? Yeah, these are his gloves. It keeps his hands protected while he's welding. And this looks like his helmet. Yeah, and it has this really dark shade right here. So then he can look at what he's doing because it's too bright to look at without this. You definitely never want to look at what you're doing welding unless you have this. So if you ever see someone welding, do not look at that light, okay? Okay. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Colton did such a great job welding. Hey, Colton, thank you so much for showing us how to weld. Yep, no problem. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's keep exploring. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. This has been so much fun. Did you see when he was welding? It looked like fireworks. Whoa. Yeah, that was awesome. Ooh. Look at this yellow toolbox. Whoa, I think we should open it up and see what tools are inside. Whoa! Whoa! Look at these socket sets. Wow! That is so nicely organized. Whoa! Remember earlier? Yeah, we were talking about those nuts. Yeah, these sockets go over the nuts. And then you use a lever and then turn it. And then you can get it nice and tight. Yeah, that is really cool. Ooh, let's see what else is in here. I love tools. They're so much fun. Whoa, look. Yeah, a wrench. Yeah, you can also use these to tighten nuts. Reek, 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 reek. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, let's put it away. Ooh, what else is in here? Whoa, yeah, a crescent wrench. Whoa. We must have a customer. Someone else will get that. But hey, check it out, a crescent wrench. Looks like a mount. Hello! Hello! <laughs> That's silly. Okay, well, oh, look at this. You know what this is? Yeah, it kind of looks like a hammer, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's actually a rubber mallet. Watch this. Yeah! You can hit things with it. Yeah! You, uh, like a tire. Watch this! <laughs> I don't know what you would do that for, but it's fun! Whoa! Yeah! A vice right here? Yeah, you can put things in here. Turn this and see it closing? Yeah! keeps things held right here, so then you can work on it. Woohoohoo, look! Yeah, looks like a fan. It looks like a fan, yeah! This looks like a fan that goes in front of the radiator. Wow, I sure do love mechanic shops and tools. Hey, I think this is the perfect time for the tool song, yeah! When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things When you're working with tools Working with tools You hear all kinds of things 
The wrench tightens pipes going clang clang A hammer hits a nail going bang 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 A drill is making holes going zzz When you're working with tools you hear all kinds of things When you're working with tools Working with tools You hear all kinds of things When you're working with tools Working with tools You hear all kinds of things you hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Cutting wires with some pliers going snip, snip. Cutting paper with some scissors going clip, clip. When you're working with tools, you've got to be real safe by wearing gloves on your hands and goggles on your face. And boys and girls, when you're working with tools, always follow mom and dad's safety rules. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Whoa! Check it out! Yeah, it looks like we have some big bolts. Whoa! And we have some big nuts. Whoa! Hey, what's this doing here? Do you know what this is? Yeah, it's a steering wheel. Ten and two. <laughs> Driving a car is so much fun. You'll get there. And you need to be very safe and always wear your seatbelt. But hey, in order to drive your car, you need to maintain your vehicle. Yeah, and that is why we're at the mechanic shop. <laughs> but hey, check these out. Whoa, this is the cylinder head. Whoa, there's so many parts to an engine, and this is just one of them. Whoa, and over here, this is the exhaust manifold. Whoa. Yeah, like I said, there's a lot of parts to an engine, but this is where the engine is, and then the exhaust goes through all these pipes to the back of the vehicle. Yeah, and you've probably seen exhaust pipes before. Yeah. Well, hey, I have one last thing to show you right over here. The best part about mechanic shops is cleaning up at the end of the day, and all your hard work pays off. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun learning about tools with you today and welding and what it's like to be in a shop. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Hi, <laughs> it's me, Flippy. In this video, we're seeing real wolves and learning about all different kinds of animals. Let's go! So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout, Flippy! Hello! It's me, Flippy! And today, I'm at Predators of the Heart Wolf Encounters in Anacortes, Washington! <laughs> this place is awesome! I heard they have a lot of cool animals here, like sloths, <laughs> tortoises, <laughs> alligators, <laughs> of course, wolves, oh, 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 and a lot of other cool animals. I am so excited to learn about all these animals with you. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> was a howling wolf. Whoa, hey! Wow, check it out. Whoa, these wolves. Whoa, that is so cool. 
These wolves' names are Kakoa. Good job, Kakoa. <laughs> and that one right there? Yeah. His name is Max. And the people up there, that's Ashley up there with Kakoa. And that is Holly. Whoa! Hey, did you think that these wolves kind of look like dogs? I know! I did too! But hey, let me tell you, dogs and wolves are different species, but they're actually both what's called canines! Yeah! Well, hey, wolves are pretty smart. They can actually hear a human from 10 miles away. Whoa! That is really far away! And they can smell a human from two miles away! Wow! Look at them! They're so cool looking! Wow! They look nice and soft up there! Whoa! That is so cool! Check them out! <laughs> Wolves actually have about 30% larger brains than dogs. Yeah, gray wolves, they can bite two times harder than dogs. Wolves have babies one time a year. Yeah, and the babies, they actually can't see or hear when they're babies and they're the size of a pop can. <laughs> That's so small. Wolves live in what's called wolf packs. Woo hoo! There's about 2 to 30 wolves in a wolf pack. Wow, so cool. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is a sloth. Hello. Hey. Whoa, do you see how slow he's moving? Wow, he's moving so slow. Actually, sloths can actually swim pretty fast. They swim three times faster than what they move on land or climbing in trees. <laughs> hey, are you hungry? Look at what I brought. Ooh, a grape. Here you go. Are you hungry? Here you go. Oh, nice and gentle. Whoa, do you see its teeth? Their teeth are so sharp. Yeah, they're razor sharp. Hey. And check these out over here. Here's another one. Whoa! Here's a second sloth. Hey! Whoa! How are you? Here you go. Are you hungry? Do you want a grape? Yum! You love your fruits, huh? Oh, he's using his hand. These are actually two toed sloths. Whoa! Hey, and look at this one down here. Whoa! What are you doing? all the way down here. <laughs> You're just climbing. You want to try a grape? Here you go. Oh, maybe this one's not hungry. We'll go back to this one over here. <laughs> oh, the first one seemed really hungry. All right, see you soon. <laughs> here you go, buddy. Whoa, you are so cute. Look at its toes. Yeah, the toenails. Whoa. Looks like they're really long and curled, so then it can hang on things like branches and trees. Whoa! All right, see you again. Bye bye! Whoa! Check it out! It looks like we have four tortoises. We have one, two, three, Four tortoises! Whoa! And this one over here is so big! Hey! How are you? Hey! My name's Blippi! Whoa! This is a Selkata tortoise! Whoa! And it is so big! Yeah, they can actually get a hundred pounds and a hundred years old! But this one's actually 20 years old! Whoa! He's so big still though! Whoa! And this one over here. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> this one is another Selkata tortoise. Here, check this out. I'll rotate him around so then you can see him. Oh, hey. <laughs> this Selkata tortoise is actually five years old. <laughs> so he's a lot smaller. 
Whoa, and here's two more over here. Whoa, do you see these? These look a little different. Here, let me turn them around. Here you go. Yeah, this is a red-footed tortoise. Whoa, are you going to your friend over here? All these tortoises have shells that are really hard that then they can curl up a little bit inside to help protect them. Whoa, look at you go, you're so fast. Whoa, all right, check this out. Oh, hey. All right, I'm gonna pick him up and see how heavy he weighs. All right. Whoa. Ah, whoa! Wow! That was so heavy! <laughs> whoa! You are a good boy. I love tortoises. Whoa! Check it out! This is Salvador! Whoa, he is so unique looking. Look at his head. It's so long and skinny. Wow, it's long and skinny because then it allows for him to go inside anthills with his face and his mouth. Bye-bye. <laughs> Anteaters can actually eat 30,000 ants a day and they spend about 30 seconds per anthill. Whoa, here he comes. Yeah, they actually only spend 30 seconds per anthill, so then the ants don't crawl on them and get attacked. Yeah! Wow, what smart creatures. Whoa, their eyesight actually isn't that good, but their smell is great. Whoa, Salvador, do you like your lunch? Yeah! <laughs> Check it out. This is a groundhog, and it looks like he's eating a banana. Whoa, so cute. Groundhogs are really cool because they actually go into hibernation. Yeah, that means they hang out inside, underground, during wintertime when it's cold. But then springtime, they come on out, see the sun. Whoa, hey. And actually, their burrows, yeah, they go in different directions, kind of like an anthill for 66 yards in different directions. That's about 200 feet. Hey, buddy, do you want another banana? Here you go. Oh, here you go. I'll set that right there for you for later. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> You go bean whoa check it out this is a porcupine there you go bean whoa yeah do you see beans quills wow yeah porcupines have spikes yeah quills and actually they can't shoot them out like what you might think they can what they do is first they release a smell and if the predator doesn't get scared then it puffs up and then it'll back into the predator or maybe the predator will attack it, and that's its defensive mechanism. Whoa, hey Bean, do you like that banana? <laughs> yeah, Bean was actually found in a bean patch. <laughs> Whoa, hey Bean. Whoa, so cute. <laughs> well, porcupines are so cool. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna pet Bean today. Yeah, because Bean is enjoying his banana. <laughs> See ya! Oh, did you see that? This box just moved. Hmm, I'm not seeing an animal anywhere else. Wait a second, I wonder if there's an animal under this box. <laughs> One way to find out. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa, check it out. This is a giant hairy armadillo. Whoa, hey, how are you? Yeah, her name is Wren. Whoa, she is so cute. Look how big she is. She is so active. Yeah, armadillos typically roll into a ball to protect themselves. Yeah, like that. But actually, giant hairy armadillos can't do that. 
Whoa! Look at her! What they do for protection is they dig in the ground. Yeah, dig holes. That's called burrowing. Whoa, and she loves to eat insects. Whoa, she is so cool. Maybe I can pet her. This is a blue and gold macaw. Macaw! Macaw! <laughs> wow! She is so pretty! Look at her colors! Wow! Blue and yellow. Gold! Oh, hey! And then look! Looks like she has some green on her head. Hey! Wow! And look at that sharp beak. <laughs> wow! Hasn't this been fun learning about all these animals today? <laughs> Yeah! It was so much fun at Predators of the Heart Wolf Encounters in Anacortes, Washington! Whoa! I sure did have a lot of fun learning about animals with you. Thanks for coming along! Well, this is the end of this video though, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me, Angel? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I! Flippy! Good job! All right, see you again. Bye-bye. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Flippy! <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, we're here at Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. <laughs> yeah, and I can't wait to see what's inside and start playing. Whoa, come on. <laughs> Whoa! Look where we're at! The Sandy Shack! <laughs> yeah! It's a really big sandbox, and you and I get to go inside! <laughs> but first, we gotta take off our shoes. One, two! <laughs> okay, I'll put these to the side, and we can go inside! Don't forget your bucket! Whoa! Look at it! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it's so cool in here! It's really sandy! There's so much sand here, and it's a good thing we have our pail and shovels. Yeah, we have two blue shovels. We can pick up sand. And we have one, two, three different pails. Yeah, this one is the color yellow. This one is the color orange. And this one is the color red. <laughs> yeah, these are really helpful for scooping sand up, whoa, and making a sand castle. Okay, let's try it out. <laughs> Uh-oh, it looked like our sand castle didn't stand up, but that's okay. Sometimes when you're trying to make something, it doesn't work on the first time, so you gotta just keep trying. <laughs> whoa, this is pretty cool. Whoa, but do you see these animals? Whoa, do you know what kind of animal this is? It's kind of hiding in the sand. <laughs> Yeah, this animal is a crab. Ooh, he's feeling a little crabby. <laughs> so silly. Well, this crab is really cool. Hey, do you know how crabs like to move? Uh-huh. Yeah, they don't like to walk like us. They like to go side to side. Hey, will you act like a crab with me? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's do a crab walk. <laughs> Moving side to side like a crab is so much fun! <laughs> yeah! But look at this! There's another animal! Whoa! This animal is really big and likes to live on beaches just like a crab in the sand. This, yeah, this guy, he's a sea turtle. Whoa! And look how big his shell is! Whoa! It's bigger than my head! <laughs> Whoa! This is so much fun playing in the sand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe we can make a sand angel. Okay, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> that was so much fun playing in the sand with you. Ooh. Gotta dust myself off because I'm pretty sandy now. 
Let's go keep exploring. But first, we gotta put our shoes on. Now that we have our shoes on, all we have to do is tie them. Yeah, do you know how to tie your shoes? Yeah, they can be really, really hard tying your shoes. But this is how I like to tie them. So I take my laces, and first I cross them over, and I take one of the laces, and I put it through the center. Yeah, like that. And I pull it tight. Once I've done the first step, then I take the laces, and I make cute little bunny ears. Yeah, just like this. You see my two little bunny ears? Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah. And then I take the bunny ears, and they give each other a little hug. They wrap around, and then I pull that tight too. Okay, this time I'll do it a little faster. Okay, we take our laces, we cross them, and then one lace goes under. Then, one bunny ear, two bunny ears. Woo! <laughs> and we cross them. We then wrap that one through, they give it a little hug, and we pull it tight. Whoa, look at that! We tied our shoes. And sometimes I like to do it again to double knot my shoes because I like to dance and I like to run and play. And you don't want to play or dance when your shoes are untied because then you might trip on your shoelace. That wouldn't be very fun. <laughs> well, there's so much more to explore. Come on! There are so many cool things here. <laughs> Look at this really big circle. Hello! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Whoa! And look at this over here! There are so many cubes! <laughs> Whoa! There are so many different colors on these cubes! Look! We have the color white and the color red! And the color purple and the color blue! <gasps> Wait a minute! If I turn it this way, my two favorite colors, blue and orange. Hey, and look over here. There's like a little diorama playset, and there's all kinds of cool animals, like a little piggy. Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> Woo, he's gonna walk on the bridge. Whoa, and look, there are two sheep. Yeah, one, two. And you know what sound sheep make? Yeah, they go like this. Bah. <laughs> and they're also gonna be on the bridge because they're friends with Mr. Piggy. Okay, right there. Whoa, and look at this. There are three animals here. One, two, three. Do you know what kind of animals these are? Yeah, they're little lambs and they're so cute and tiny. Ooh. <laughs> they're gonna hang out near the bridge too. Whoa, and look at this. There are four really big cows. Moo, moo, moo. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four. Whoa, four really big cows. <laughs> and they're gonna go, they're gonna go in the water. They're taking a little bath because it's really warm out. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Hello, Mr. Pig. Hello, Mr. Cow. Hello. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so silly. That was really fun, playing with all those foam cubes and seeing about those animals. Hey, look over here. Whoa, and look at this. Have you ever seen one of these before? Yeah, this is called an abacus. Mm -hmm. And it's really good at helping do math or arithmetic. Mm -hmm. Look, you can do it like this. One yellow lemon plus one yellow lemon. Hmm, how many lemons does that make? Yeah, two lemons. Okay, that was pretty easy. But now you can do an even harder one. What about two apples plus three apples? Whoa, that's a lot harder. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa! Two plus three apples is five apples! Whoa! Yeah, abacus is really helpful for counting and math. These are really, really big. There's a watermelon and a pumpkin. <laughs> and the pumpkin's my favorite color, orange. 
Hmm, I wonder what these are. Whoa! Did you hear that? Yeah, this isn't a watermelon, it's a watermelon drum. Well, that means that the pumpkin's a drum too. Sounded really cool. Whoa. Those are awesome fruit drums. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at this over here. Whoa. Look at all these different fruits and vegetables. Yeah. We have lettuce, onion, corn, potato, carrot, whoa, and tomato. Those are so many different kinds. Now, what we can do is play a really fun game where we take all the foods in this basket and we have to match them to the right word. So, first, we got some onions. So, let's see, one onion, two onion. <laughs> yeah, we got it, that was pretty easy. Next, we got two red tomatoes. Ooh, hmm, where should the red tomatoes go? Here? Hmm, here? <laughs> yeah, that's right. We'll put them right over here. Okay, here we go. One, two. Okay, we got a couple more. Whoa, what about this? Wow, there's a lot of things here. Wait a minute. Where should we put this lettuce? It says lettuce here, but there are four parts and only two holes. Wait a minute. These are halves. So, if you take one half and another half, you put them together, we get one whole, one whole head of lettuce. <laughs> and we have two over here, so one half and one half, one half and one half, two whole heads of lettuce. We'll put them in the holes. One, two. <laughs> and we have two heads of corn. Whoa, and look at this. We have some yummy carrots. <laughs> I love carrots, and so do a lot of animals, like rabbits and horses. <laughs> Woo, woo, <laughs> it looks like I have bunny ears with my carrots. Woo, 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 <laughs> that's so fun. Okay, we'll put two carrots, one carrot, and two carrots. Hmm, what's left? Oh yeah, a potato! Whoa, look, we got one potato right here, and we have another potato right, wait a minute, is this a potato? <laughs> that's not a potato! Donuts, so silly. <laughs> well, I guess we'll put it in the potato because we only have one potato, but this, not a potato. <laughs> Whoa, we did a really good job matching all the fruit together. Well, there's so much more to explore. Come on. <laughs> hey, whoa, I just came out of this really awesome tree house. Hey, let's explore it a little. Whoa, look at it. This is so big. This tree is enormous. Yeah, look, it's so big that they built a house under the tree, or in the tree, and a house above the tree. <laughs> Whoa! This is such a cool tree house. I think you and I should go up in it. Come on! Whoa, look at this place. It's so amazing. And look at this. This isn't any tree house. This is Longo's Cove. And look at this. This is a pirate ship. Whoa, someone put this big pirate ship up in the tree. Hello, pirates. <laughs> Whoa, I'm so excited. Let's climb up. But I have a really good idea. How about you and I count all the steps on our way up? <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, there's some more over here. Eight, nine, 10, 11, whoa, 12. We made it up all the stairs and it was 12. That was a lot. Whoa, check this out. You know what this is right here? Yeah, this is called a spyglass and this will help us see really far away. Whoa, I can see so far from here. <laughs> and hey, look at this. Can you find these birds? Yeah, 
there's all different birds over on the wall and hiding in all different places, and we can use the spyglass to see if we can find them. Okay, we want to find an osprey, a roseate spoonbill, a brown pelican, blue herons, sandwich terns, and anhingas. Ooh, that sounds like a really cool bird. Let's see if we can find them. Okay, I'm looking. Whoa, I think I found the anhinga. He's right over there. Whoa, and I see a blue heron. <laughs> hey, right up against the blue wall. And, yeah, look, there's the sandwich turn. Whoa, that was amazing. Looking for all those different birds. Hey, do you know where all those birds like to live? <laughs> yeah, they live in a place called an estuary. Whoa, estuary is a really fancy word, but it basically means where the ocean meets a river. Woo, <laughs> yeah. Hey, I have a fun game. Do you think that an estuary has salty water or fresh water without any salt? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're all right, because it's both salty and fresh. It's kind of, kind of salty, <laughs> yeah. And we call that brackish water. Whoa, that's another big word. <laughs> but it's amazing, because all these cool birds and some really cool fish like to live there, <laughs> yeah. Oh, this treehouse is pretty amazing. Let's see what else we can find. <laughs> oh, look at this place. Do you see above me? Whoa, it's a captain's wheel. Whoa, I bet this came from the pirate ship. Whoa, that is so cool. I wish we could ride a real pirate ship into the ocean. Whoa, hey. It looks like there's a lot of types of trash in this treehouse. Huh, yeah, and it says over here, don't pollute. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of recycling? Yeah, it's really good because recycling helps to take care of the animals that live in the ocean and on land. <laughs> yeah, if you ever have trash, make sure it goes in the recycling bin or a trash can and not in the water. Mm -mm. <laughs> Well, this treehouse is pretty cool, but I'm gonna see if I can go climb up to the top. I'll see you soon. Whoa! That was so much fun, <laughs> but I'm a little bit dizzy. <laughs> Whoa, hey, I have a really fun idea. How about you and I go up to the pirate ship in Longo's Cove and ride the big yellow slide? <laughs> yeah, come on, let's go. Whoa, <laughs> it looks like we've been here before. Okay, we went that way, so now let's go this way. <laughs> This is so cool. Look at this place. <laughs> this treehouse is kind of spooky. Ooh. <laughs> well, I had so much fun with you today exploring the Sandy Shack and Longo's Cove. <laughs> it was so much fun. And now for the very best part, we go down the big yellow slide. Okay, I think I'm ready. On your mark, get set. And go, Blippi. Bye-bye! Whoa! Whoa! That was so much fun! <laughs> wow, I had a really great time playing with you today here at Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we had a really fun time playing in the sand in the Sandy Shack and climbing all the way to the top of Longo's Cove. Whoa! <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P.
KPI Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Woo! <laughs> It's me, Blippi, and that was really fun riding a bike with you. Whew. I was riding really fast, because <laughs> I was so excited to see you today. But you know, sometimes I ride really slow when I'm really tired. <laughs> hey, can you think of any animals or things that go really fast? <laughs> I like that. I think I can think of some too. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> You could be really fast like a rocket ship. <laughs> or like a horse. Ooh. <laughs> that was pretty silly being a horse. Can you think of anything that goes really slow? <laughs> Ooh, okay, let's keep thinking. Whoa. You know what goes really slow? A Ferris wheel. Ooh. <laughs> And a snail! How do you know if something moves really fast or really slow? Hmm. Oh, I know. You time it. Yeah, you use a clock to see how long it takes for something to happen. And I know the perfect place for you and I to figure out how things go really fast and really slow. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. I'll see you there. I'll race ya. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. Whoa, and look at that. It's a really big ropes course. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am so excited because today at Nona Adventure Park in Orlando, Florida, you and I get to go to the very top. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be so much fun. Come on. Before we start the ropes course, I think it's a really good idea to learn about all the right equipment to use and to get in a little practice. This right here, this is the harness. And it's really important to put the harness on. So if you're doing the ropes course and you fall off, the harness will get you. Woo! <laughs> That'll be fun. Okay, so we'll put this harness on, kind of like a belt. Put in our left leg, woo! And then our right leg. And do the harness dance. <laughs> yeah, good job. And now you just tighten the harness like this, just like a belt. Now the next part of safety equipment we don't want to forget about are the clips. The clips are gonna help us clip onto the ropes. Yeah, so we'll take this loop and we'll put it through the clips. Yeah, and now we're all ready to start practicing. <laughs> hey, I think it's time to go on the ropes course. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that's pretty high up. Maybe it's a better idea to start off with something a little lower to the ground first, and then we'll do that next. Come on. Whoa, look at this place. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, look at all these cool, stools <laughs> and ropes yeah they're all different colors do you know what colors all these ropes are yeah this is the color red we have the color black Ooh. <laughs> and this one's one of my favorite the color blue <laughs> yeah whoa all of these different obstacles that i'm gonna have to walk on look a little bit wobbly whoa whoa <laughs> That's okay, you and I can use all of our balance to stay nice and upright so we won't fall. <laughs> okay, we're all ready to go on the 
ropes course. Yeah! Look at this. This one has a bunch of fossils for feet, for little steps to step on. <laughs> Boing, woo, wee, woo. <laughs> Whoa, this one's really bouncy. Let's keep going, come on. course is so much fun! Hey, I think we've done such a good job that we can try the one all the way at the top! Let's go! This is gonna be so much fun! Wow, that was really tiring, but I'm excited for another one. Oh hey look, it's my really good friend! Hey Jake! Hi Buffy! Did you know that Jake is a pro athlete? Yeah! <laughs> He's really good at all kinds of sports and really cool things like ropes courses. <laughs> yeah! So is it really hard being a pro athlete? It is, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> That's cool. I bet you have to eat a lot of really healthy, yummy vegetables. <laughs> vegetables are important. One of my favorite foods is Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts? Ooh! One of my favorite foods is broccoli! <laughs> yeah! Hey, do you have a favorite food that you like to eat? <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty yummy food. <laughs> hmm, well this has been really fun doing this first rubs course, but I think I'm ready to try the one way up there! Whoa! <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. I got a timer, we can time it if you want. Yeah, that's a great idea! How about Jake and I time doing the ropes course and see who wins. It'll be a flippy competition. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so who should go first? Why don't you go for it? Okay, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go first while Jake times me and then he'll go next. Come on.
Yeah, I did it. That was so much fun. That was really fast. That was awesome. Whoa, it was really tricky up there, clipping into all the different parts, and it took a lot of balance. <laughs> it was so much fun, I almost made a full circle. Well, actually, this ropes course is not a circle because it has six sides. Hey, do you know what a six-sided shape is called? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's called a hexagon. Ooh. <laughs> well, that was really fun, but Jake, I think it's your time to go up to the top. All right, here's the timer. Okay, I got the timer. On your mark, get set, and go! <laughs> I can't wait to see how fast Jake can do the ropes course. Be because you're a pro athlete and practice a lot. <laughs> Great job! You're the winner! <laughs> yeah! Bye, Jake! See you, Blippi! Woo! <laughs> hey! I have a really good idea. How about you and I race? Okay, get the time on the clock started. Let's race! Hello! <laughs> Over here! Woo! <laughs> I'm up here! Hello! <laughs> Looks like you found me! Okay, here we go! Down the slide! Woo! Looked like you beat me. <laughs> that was really fun. <laughs> Good job racing with me. Whoa, look over here. Hey, do you see what it says? Curiosity Corner. <laughs> it looks like it's time for the Curiosity Corner. <laughs> yeah, I am so excited because these are so much fun. I can't wait to find out what we're going to build together. Oh, look at the clock. Hey, I bet you and I get to build a clock today. <laughs> yeah, let's get started. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> look, we're here at the Curiosity Corner. <laughs> and it looks like we're gonna make an awesome clock. <laughs> okay, well first, what do we need to make a clock? Hmm, oh, I know, a circle. Whoa, it looks like this paper plate is gonna be a great circle. Okay, and we're gonna need a pen because clocks have numbers. Yeah, hmm. 12 numbers. So first, we wanna put the numbers down. And a good way to write down the numbers so they're all in the right space is to start at the top. The top of a clock has the number 12. <laughs> hmm. The bottom of the clock has the number six. <laughs> And then, to the right of the clock, 
we have the number three. And to the left of the clock, we have the number nine. <laughs> well, there's a couple more numbers on a clock, so I'm gonna fill in the rest. We have all the numbers of the clock. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. But I think our clock is still missing some things. Hmm. We have the numbers, but what points to the numbers? Oh yeah, hands. <laughs> hands. A clock has two hands, and we have some really cool paper here. My favorite colors: orange and blue. And all you need to do is cut out little arrows. Okay. You take our little arrows, we're gonna put them on the clock, then we just pin them in. Now that we've finished our clock, let's see if we can tell some time. Hmm. Well, we have our big hand and our little hand. What does three o'clock look like? Yeah, just like that. A little hand is on the three. Hmm, what does six o'clock look like? The little hand, we move that again, and it's on the six. Hmm, I wonder what nine o'clock looks like. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what nine o'clock looks like. A little hand is on the nine, big hand is on the 12. <laughs> that was so much fun telling time with you. <laughs> Yay! Hello! <laughs> Whoa! These circles are the same shape as a clock. And that gave me a really good idea. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Whoa! I think you and I should do a really fun dance. <laughs> Just like a clock. We'll use the tick-tock of the clock for a really cool beat and the hands of a clock, woo, <laughs> for some sweet dance moves. <laughs> yeah! Okay, step one, we're gonna make our hands like this, three o'clock. We'll move them to six o'clock, then back to three o'clock, and then to nine o'clock. <laughs> and step number two is have lots of fun and be really silly. <laughs> I'm so excited to dance together. Let's go. <laughs> Is it? Three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, midnight, cuckoo, midnight, cuckoo, midnight, cuckoo. Double time. Tickety tickety tock, moving around the clock. Tickety tickety tock, doing the tick tock rock. Tickety tickety tock, moving around the clock. Tickety tickety tock, doing the tick tock rock. <laughs> I had so much fun with you today. <laughs> we learned about all kinds of things, like going slow means it will take a really long time, and going fast won't take much time at all. <laughs> it was also really fun learning about time and clocks, and that clocks have two hands and 12 numbers. <laughs> yeah! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah. B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you real soon. I'm going to go play in the ball pit. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello, friends. It's me, Flippy. And today, we're exploring construction vehicles. Let's see, can you guess which vehicle this is? Let's go find out. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Wow, and look at where I'm at. Yeah, today, I'm at Tenino, Washington at a job site. Yeah, and today, you and I get to learn about a machine. Yeah, a really heavy machine. It has a really big blade up front, pushes anything and everything out of its way has a lot of power. It's a little slow, though. 
and it starts with the letter B, just like my name. <laughs> Do you know what machine it is? Okay, let's go find out. Woohoo! <laughs> Check it out! Wow! A piece of construction equipment! And this is a powerful piece of construction equipment. Do you know what machine this is? Yeah! This is a bulldozer! Wow! It is so powerful. Here, come on! Whoa! This is the blade of the bulldozer. Yeah, the blade pushes anything and everything out of its way. And then it goes flat on the ground and then makes the ground nice and flat. Whoa! Whoa! And how it gets all of its power is right here. Yeah! The engine! And this is the engine compartment. Yeah! It produces a lot of power and a lot of smoke out of the exhaust. Whoa! Super cool. Hey, do you see these? Huh. This is silly. <laughs> yeah, there's no wheels and tires. That's silly, huh? Oh, these are called tracks. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, these metal things go down into the dirt, the gravel, the mud, so then it has really good traction, so then it doesn't slip and slide. <laughs> All right, I think I should take it for a spin. Woohoo! Whoa, so comfortable. All right. First things first, safety first. Perfect. Now that I'm nice and safe with my seatbelt, we can operate the bulldozer. Yeah, you operate a bulldozer. You do not drive a bulldozer. <laughs> okay, see these hand controls? This is how you operate the bulldozer. This one makes you go forward and backward, and this one, yeah, this is what you use to control the blade. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's turn on the key. Woohoo! All right, flip up the safety doodads, and here we go. Whoa, check it out! Whoa! Woohoo! All right. Whoa! <laughs> was fun. <laughs> that was awesome. Wow, what a powerful machine. Did you see that big blade up front? Yeah, it's so good and powerful. It pushes anything and everything out of its way. Our first vehicle was a bulldozer. They are such an important piece of equipment and help clear the way. Hmm, can you guess what this next vehicle is? Let's go check it out. Let me give you some hints on what piece of machinery we're gonna learn about. Okay, it's a machine that loves to dig. Yeah, it typically has tracks. Yeah, has an arm and a boom and a bucket. Digs big holes and it starts with the letter E. <laughs> Can you guess it? Okay, here we go. <laughs>
excavator. Yeah, I was driving and holding this giant log. Wait, did you hear that? Yeah, an excavator. Wow, what a cool machine. This is actually a mini excavator. Yeah, they have small ones like this, and they have big ones like that. Wow. Hey, did you see I was sitting in the seat? Yeah, this is the cab of the excavator. Wow, there's so many controls in there. Oh, so cool. Hey, and look down here. Wow. Yeah, just like a bulldozer, this excavator has tracks. But a bulldozer's tracks are metal. And these, yeah, they're rubber, like tires. Wow, that is really cool. The cab can swing around. Yeah, did you see me swing around? Whoa, so cool. Oh, and up here, wow. It's hard to see because the bucket is right here. But this is the blade. Just like a bulldozer, this excavator has a blade to flatten things out and push things out of its way. And where this log is sitting, yeah, this is the bucket of the excavator. Wow, this bucket has some big teeth. Yeah, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Look at this. This kind of looks like a big tooth, but this is actually called a thumb. Wow, the thumb is used to grab things, just like this log. Whoa. And all this, this is the arm and the boom, which then can lift up, swing around, and use the bucket to dig. Yeah, I think I should hop on in and do some digging. Woohoo! I'm an excavator, excavator, hey dirt, see you later, I'm an excavator, I've got a great big arm and a great big boom, if I start digging now I'll be done real soon, I'm a dirt separator, I'm an excavator. Doug. Wow, so cool. Hey, and look at this big pile of dirt. Wow, I love dirt. Yeah, because it's fun to play around in and it's the per perfect home for some plants. Woohoo! Here we go. Here you go, plants. Woohoo! <laughs> wow, excavators are awesome. Yeah! Wasn't that excavator so cool? I love getting to dig things up and an excavator makes it so easy and fun. Whoa! That sure was fun learning about that excavator today, wasn't it? Yeah, you can dig some massive holes with the excavator. And since it doesn't have wheels and tires, it has tracks. Yeah, you never get stuck. Yeah. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. 
Flippy. Good job. See you again. Bye bye. Today, we get to ride some really cool water slides. <laughs> yeah! At Not Soap City in Buena Park, California. <laughs> yeah! But before we can go on the water slides, we need to get all geared up. Let's put on our swimsuit. <laughs> Look! I'm in my swimsuit. Hmm, there's one thing we're forgetting <laughs> sunscreen. We need to make sure we put on our sunscreen before we do any kind of swimming. <laughs> Okay, here we go. You don't want to get a sunburn. <laughs> Whoa, get your hands and your legs. And I'm gonna spray some on my hand, but on my face. <laughs> now we're all ready to do some swimming and ride some water slides. Come on. Silly. Whoa, do you see this place? There are so many cool things here. Let's go check it out. Come on. Whoa, look at it. There are so many things here, like a lazy river. Whoa, <laughs> hello. It's so lazy. <laughs> and a giant water slide. Hmm, maybe we could do that. <gasps> or we could do this. <laughs> Whoa, what's back there? Hmm, let's see if we can see. Do you see it? Look, there's a turtle with some fish. Hmm, <laughs> maybe we could do that too. Whoa, but do you see this? It's a giant lighthouse! Whoa! <laughs> it's so big! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Lighthouses are so cool because they have really big and bright lights. Yeah, bright lights. And the lights help to tell fishermen and other boats where the shore is so they don't have an accident on the rocks. Mm -hmm. Helps to keep all the boats really safe. <laughs> well, I think the lighthouse is pretty cool. Oh, what do you see that behind me? Yeah, that's the beach house. Ooh, <laughs> and the beach house has so many fun things to explore. Let's go check it out. Come on. I'm so excited, come on. Whoa, but before we go up to the big slides on the beach house, we need to make sure that we're this tall. <laughs> Looks like we are. And we need to go barefoot, which means I can't wear my water shoes. Nope, <laughs> we'll take them off. One shoe, two shoes. <laughs> Okay, we'll leave them here and put them on later. <laughs> Whoa, look at it up here. There are so many water things and it's really loud. Whoa, <laughs> look at this. 
When you press this button, it puts water in this really cool bucket. And then when it fills all the way to the top, <laughs> we can throw it out. Woo! <laughs> Ooh, that's really fun. Don't get too splashed. Come on. Ooh, look at it up here. It's so pretty. And hey, look who it is. It's a lifeguard. <laughs> Hello, I'm Lippy. What's your name? Hi, Lippy. I'm Ashley. Ooh, hi, Ashley. Ashley is a lifeguard. Yeah, lifeguards are really important because they help keep you and I safe when we go swimming or if we're at a really fun water park. <laughs> hey, I bet Ashley knows how to keep us safe. Let's ask her. <laughs> hi, Ashley. How can we stay safe when we're here at the water park? I uh, won't, well, Blippi. Ways you can stay safe include always wearing sunscreen when you're out in the sun. Okay. Making sure you have a parent's permission before you go anywhere near the water. And make sure there's a lifeguard on stand to help keep you safe as well. Ooh. And always make sure you wear a Coast Guard approved life jacket. Oh, okay. Whoa, those are a lot of things. Well, first, we put on our sunscreen. <laughs> yeah, so you don't get a sunburn. And you always want to be with a grown up and make sure a lifeguard's on duty. Hmm, you should also wear a life jacket. You're swimming in a pool. <laughs> Another really good thing is learning how to swim. <laughs> yeah, I love swimming. It's so much fun. Well, now that we learned how to be safe, I think it's time to go down the really big slide, the beach house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we're all ready, Ashley. All righty, whenever you're ready, Blippi. Thanks, Ashley. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Woo. Let's see if we can explore some more of the beach house. Come on! Woo! Look at this place! It's so cool! There are so many water guns and spouts. Let's go see what we can find. I must be home. <laughs> this is fun! Yay. Look over here! You see it? Look at all the slides! There's so many different colors! <laughs> I bet you and I would have a really fun time if we go over there to the colorful slides! Look! There's so many different types, like orange and blue! <laughs> Let's go! Look at all the slides! Hey, and check this out! Whoa! This is a tube! <laughs> and this is what we're gonna use to ride down some of these slides. <laughs> Hello! Woo! <laughs> Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah! This is a really big circle! Woo! <laughs> well, before we get in the tube, we need to decide what slide are we gonna go down? There are so many different kinds. Look at them all. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> the water's going so fast and they're all different colors. Hmm, <laughs> what color slide do you see? Hmm. Yeah, look, I see a slide that's the color green. <laughs> Good job. Do you see any other colors? Hmm. Whoa, look over here. Yeah, there's a slide that's the color yellow. <laughs> hmm, you see any other colors? Yeah, I see a couple more colors too. My favorite color, the color 
blue. Well, this right here looks like a rainbow. There are so many different colors. Blue and green and red and orange. Whoa. <laughs> they all sound really, really fun. Hmm. I wonder what slide we're gonna go down. <laughs> I'm so excited and it's gonna be so much fun. Okay, let's go sliding. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. some more fun things in the park. <laughs> Let's go. Woo. <laughs> hey, look at this really cool place. There's so many fun water things here. <laughs> and look, it's a shipwreck. <gasps> Let's go see if there's some buried treasure. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, look at it. Do you see this? <laughs> it's a treasure chest. Ooh. <laughs> Should I open it up? See what's inside? <laughs> okay, let's see what's in this treasure chest. Whoa! It's buried treasure! It's all kinds of really cool gems <laughs> and coins. Ooh, gold coins. Arr, <laughs> I feel like a pirate. Okay. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we see if this treasure chest sinks or floats? Okay. Let's see if it sinks or floats. Whoa, look at it. This treasure chest, it floats. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, I didn't think this treasure chest would float. I thought it would sink because it's kind of heavy and it's filled with all kinds of gems and coins. Hey, treasure chest, treasure hunt. What if you and I went on a scavenger treasure hunt? And we found all types of things and see if they sink or float. <gasps> that would be so much fun. Okay, I'll leave the treasure chest here for later and let's go see what else we can discover. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Come on. Whoa. Do you see any objects that we could use for sink or float? <laughs> yeah, good job. Really good eyes. I see a flip flop that's kind of a pinkish red. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Let's see if this flip flop sinks or floats. Silly, it floats too. Hmm, we have a treasure chest and a flip flop. What else can we find? Hmm, oh look, it's a puffer fish. <laughs> puffer fishes are so cute. <laughs> hello, hello, Blippi. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing really good. Well, do you sink or float? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> he floats too. Bye bye. <laughs> Whoa! 
look at this! <laughs> Whoa, it's really shady now. <laughs> hmm, this is an umbrella and it's red and white. It looks like a really tasty candy cane. <gasps> I love candy canes. <laughs> Let's see if it sinks or floats. Whoa, it also floats. Ooh. Let's see if we can find something that sinks. <laughs> I bet we will. Whoa, <gasps> this is a really scary shark. <laughs> Just kidding, this shark is really friendly and cute. Hello, hello shark. <laughs> He's our friend. And look, on his back, he has this. Whoa. I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like seaweed. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> yeah. And it's the colors green, blue, and orange. <laughs> Let's see if it sinks or floats. Whoa, look at it. It sinks all the way to the bottom. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. We finally found something that sinks. Hmm. But we're not done yet. Mm. <laughs> Whoa! Look at this! <laughs> Hello! He's wearing a hat or a visor so the sun doesn't get in his eyes. <laughs> hmm. You mind if I borrow your visor? <laughs> ah, thanks. Let's see if this sinks or floats. What do you think? Do you think this red and white visor will sink or float? Let's find out. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. The top part floats, but the bottom part is kind of heavy, so it sinks. Hmm, it's kind of suspended in the water. Whoa. <laughs> hey, do you see all those animals over there? What kind of animals are those? Hmm. <laughs> That's right. Look, there are two turtles. One turtle, two turtles, and there are two crabs. One crab, two crabs. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see if maybe they're hiding something that we can use to sink or float. <laughs> This turtle has an inflatable hammock on its back. Whoa. And this crab has a teeny tiny shark. Hmm. Let's see if both of these green and white objects, yeah, they're both the color green and white. Let's see if they sink or float. Hmm. First, we'll do the hammock. Here we go. It floats, yeah. And now our shark. Here we go. Good luck. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! The shark swam all the way to the bottom and sunk. <laughs> now let's see what else. Hello. <laughs> Excuse me. Whoa! Look at this. Hello. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Yeah, this is a life ring. And this helps you in case you need to float in the ocean. <laughs> Do you know what shape this life ring is? <laughs> yeah, it's a circle. Ooh. And it's the color orange and white. Ooh. Okay, let's see if this sinks or floats. Whoa, <laughs> look, it floats, <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello, Mr. Turtle. Look at this turtle, it's so cool. Its shell is yellow, red, and really dark green. Ooh, <laughs> so many colors. And it has a little fish on its back. Woo, 
Woo! Woo! <laughs> Hello, fish! You think this fish will sink or float? Let's see! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> it sunk! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Look at what it is! It's a giant octopus on top of a yellow submarine! <laughs> yeah! Submarines are really cool vehicles that go under the water. <laughs> They sink, but sometimes the people driving the submarine need to get out, so it floats all the way to the top. Submarines sink, but they also float. <laughs> Let's see if some other objects are hiding inside the submarine. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. <laughs> well, this one's kind of stuck. Do you know what these are? Yeah, these right here are pool noodles. <laughs> and they're my favorite colors. Orange and blue. <laughs> Do you think these pool noodles will sink or float? I guess we'll have to test it out. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> they float. Whoa! <laughs> Do you see what it is? It's a little red fish. Mm, hello! Hello! <laughs> but then it's a ring. There's a big circle inside the fish. <laughs> He's so cute. I wonder if this fish that's also a ring will sink or float. And hey, look! It has some friends. We have one fish, two fish, three fish, and four fish. Okay, I'm gonna drop them all at the same time to see if they sink or float. Whoa, look at it. We have a yellow and red fish. Wait a minute, look. Are they gonna sink? Are they gonna float? Whoa, that was so cool. The blue fish and the green fish, they sunk right away but the yellow and red fish were floating. <laughs> but then they all sunk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> hey, I think we should go inside the yellow submarine and see if we can find anything else. <laughs> Look, it's a pail. A watering can or a watering pail. Yeah, if you have any plants and you want to keep them nice and healthy and strong, yeah, you just give them a little water. <laughs> Do you think this will sink or float? Okay, let's see. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, it floats. But maybe if it fills up with water, nope, <laughs> it still floats, even if it has some water in it. <laughs> Whoa, I think I forgot something. Do you see this over here? Whoa. Let's see if this will sink or float. <laughs> I think this will be really exciting and cool because it's so big. <laughs> okay, stay right here. I'll be right back. It's so big. Whoa, look at this. This ball is so big. <laughs> this is the biggest beach ball I've ever seen. <laughs> Do you think it will sink or float? Okay, let's find out. <laughs> Bye-bye! <laughs> it's floating away. <laughs> that was so much fun finding out if all those things sink or float. Hmm, but there's still one thing we haven't tested to see if it sinks or floats. <laughs> I'm so excited for this last thing. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> It's 
so much fun! And hey, look! I float! Woo! <laughs> but that's because I know how to swim. <laughs> Woo! And that was so much fun! <laughs> Whoa! We've gone on so many fun slides today. Looks like we have time for one more. <laughs> Bonsai Falls! Bonsai Falls! <laughs> this is gonna be awesome! Come on! <laughs> well, the slides we've been on before have had tubes and just sliding down just with ourselves, but Bonsai Falls has this really cool mat! Come on! Look at this! Yeah, I'm gonna hold on like this, and instead of going feet first, like all the other slides, I'm gonna go head first! Whoa! It's so topsy-turvy! <laughs> okay, I think we're all ready to go on the slide! Come on! Oh, hey Ashley! Hi! Oh, she got here really fast! <laughs> Come on! the day with you here at this really fun water park was really fun too we learned so much we made sure we put on our sunscreen and we learned so much about safety from ashley the lifeguard <laughs> yeah and we went down really tall big slides Woo! <laughs> well that's the end of this episode but if you want to watch more of my episodes all you have to do is search for my name hey will you spell my name with me <laughs> yeah! Okay, here we go! B-L-I-P-P-I! -I. Flippy! <laughs> Good job! Well, I'll see you real soon! I'm gonna go down the slide again! Hello! It's me, Flippy! And today, I'm at PD Bakery in Seattle, Washington! Whoa! Look at this place! Whoa! It's so cool! Yeah, we're in the back. This is called a kitchen. Oh, and look at what it is. Wow, look at it. <laughs> wow, this is an apron. Ooh, check it out. Look at those flowers. Yeah, this apron is gonna help keep me nice and clean when I bake. Yep, I sure ate a lot of vegetables today. Yep, and now that I ate a bunch of healthy food, we can have something yummy and sweet. I am so excited. <laughs> Let's go. Wow, look at this place. Whoa, there's so many cool things. Yeah, like a measuring cup. Yeah, you can put things in there and then know how much of an ingredient you have exactly in this measuring cup. Whoa, or a giant spoon. Whoa, you can stir a lot of stuff with that. Whoa, whoa. Look at this! Yeah, a spatula! Boing! <laughs> That's so cool! Okay, right there for now. Whoa! Looks like we have some vinegar! Yum! <laughs> okay, there we go! Wow, come on! Whoa! A giant sink! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> This is where I clean a lot of dishes. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, speaking of cleaning dishes. Whoa, hello! Look, this is a dishwasher. You put a lot of dirty dishes right here, and then you close it down. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Woohoo! Whoa, check it out. This is a 
stove top. Whoa, you can cook so much food right here? Whoa, there's so many stove tops. Whoa, do you see the little fire right there? Yeah, this is not a toy. You need to be very careful when you're cooking. <laughs> sweet treats. Wow, these are macarons and they look so yummy. Look at this one. This one is the color red. Whoa, looks like we have some green and some blue and some orange. Whoa, look, I'll grab an orange and a blue. <laughs> My two favorite colors. Ah. Oh. I'll eat these later. <laughs> Whoa, we have some black sesame cookies. Yum! Woo! And some ube cookies. Yum! Check these out. Open these up. Wow, what color is that? Yeah, the color purple. Yeah, there's no food coloring in this. That, yeah, that is the color of the food that was added into this cookie. That is so cool. <laughs> okay, we'll put that right there for me to eat later. <laughs> oh, look at these cute things. Looks like, what animal is that? Yeah. Moo, moo. Yeah, a cow. Ooh, a vanilla cake. Yeah, flippy party cake. Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Flippy. Yeah. And a triple chocolate cake. That looks so yummy. Well, hey, maybe you and I can cook and bake some of this. Yeah. How about today we make some macarons? Yeah. Whoa, check it out. I'm washing my hands and I'm scrubbing them for 20 seconds. Yeah, do you know how long 20 seconds is? Yeah, it's about the same length as when you sing the ABCs. Will you sing with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Hey, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's rinse them all off. Wow, oh, nice and clean now. <laughs> okay, perfect. Shut off the water. Oh, wow. And now I'm ready to make some delicious treats. <laughs> oh, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm the baker for Candy Bakery. Whoa, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Are these the ingredients? Yeah, these are some ingredients for some macarons. Ooh, well what do we have here? Well first we have eggs, and we have almond flour, we have sugar, and we have an important ingredient called salt. And when you eat it, it's really salty, but when you put it in desserts, it actually makes it sweeter and tastier. Ooh, that sounds so yummy! And you said almond flour. Why are we using that rather than all-purpose flour? So almond flour is special because when you put it in macarons, it makes it less sticky than flour and makes it really light. Wow, that is so cool. Well, hey, do you mind if I mix all these ingredients? Yeah, how about you throw all the ingredients into a bowl and throw it into the mixer and I'll go get the oven ready. Okay, woohoo! All right, let's mix all the ingredients together and then we'll put it in the mixer. <laughs> all right, first, let's uh, add the salt. Then, we'll add the sugar. And then, the almond flour. Whoa! Hey, check it out! A small bowl, medium, and large. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. <laughs> and for the eggs. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I probably have to break them open. All right, here we go. Now, I'm gonna go put it in the mixer. Yeah! 
Oh. Hey, check it out. This is a massive mixing machine. Whoa, look how big it is. There's a giant whisk right here. Wow, looks like there's a green on button, a red stop button, and a big bowl for me to add all the ingredients. All right, here we go. Pour it in. Looks like we already made some earlier. Yeah, this is gonna be a big batch. Oh. <laughs> all right, now that all the ingredients are in there, we need to make sure that the cover is closed. We need to raise up the bowl. There we go. And now we need to turn this to the on position. There we go. And we'll push the green start button in three, two, one. Yeah! Look at it mix. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the batter is finished. Whoa, this is a big bowl. Okay, the next step that we need to do, yeah, is take some of this batter and put it inside these piping bags. Yeah, what shape is this piping bag? Oh, yeah, it looks like a triangle. Perfect. And do you see how you open it up? Yeah. And that's where you put all the batter. But hey, check it out. Yeah, we have some batter already in a piping bag. Woohoohoo! <laughs> okay, Jennifer, now that we have the batter in the piping bags, what do we do now? Well, first we need to cut the bag. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And we're going to make some cow macarons. Oh! To do that, first. You're going to need one big circle. Okay. I'm like gonna that. make cow macarons. And we need a big circle for, is that the head? That's gonna be the head, yeah. Okay. And then we need two small circles on the top for its ears. Okay. That is not how I want to do it. <laughs> That's funny. That's okay. Okay, I see it. Yeah, the head and then two ears. Here, let me try. All right. There we go. Yeah, it's just like that. And then one ear, two ears. <laughs> Perfect. That's going to be one great cow. <laughs> okay, do we fill it up now? Yeah, let's fill up the whole pan. All right, let's do it. my safety gloves because ovens are not a toy. You need to be very careful. Okay, what did Jennifer say? She said 20 minutes. Oh, that's a long time. Wait, but wait a second. You know what I like to do when I wait? Yeah, I like to dance. Woohoo! means that they're probably done. <laughs> yeah! Let's open it up and then see the macarons. <laughs> Whoa! Woohoo! That is hot! Whoa! And they look so yummy! Wow! Check it out! Now it's time to decorate.
Wow, that looks like so much fun. Hey, can I try? Sure, Blippi, you wanna give it a try? Sure. Okay, uh, well, looks like we have three colors here. We have black, and then, uh, looks like we have white, and then looks like we have the color pink. Let's see, what are we making? Oh, yeah, remember these from earlier? Yeah, a cow, a cute cow. Moo! <laughs> yeah, it has two eyes, has two ears, has some spots, and a really cute nose. <laughs> okay, let's put that down right here. I'm gonna start with the black. All right, looks like I'll do two eyes. And we need to do the spots. Cute little hair thing on top. <laughs> okay, so now let me move to the color pink. <laughs> All right, looks like pink. We put it on the ears. And it's the base for the nose. Last but not least, the color white. <laughs> and we just put a little, uh-oh, I put a little too much. But that's okay. There we go. <laughs> How does it look? Yeah, does that look like a cow? Moo! Moo! <laughs> wow, that looks so good. <laughs> All right, let's keep on decorating. Whoa, check it out! Yeah, a blippy party cake. Yum! <laughs> Whoa, what are these? Yeah, macarons. Yum, they're so tasty. What is this though? Yeah, does it look like my bow tie? Yeah, it's an orange blippy macaron bow tie. And it looks so tasty, doesn't it? Yeah, well hey, check this out. I have two things of icing. My two favorite colors, blue and orange. And check it out. I have a flippy macaron that's empty, no colors at all. So maybe, just maybe, we can use some of this icing to decorate it. So my normal bow tie is orange, but I'm actually gonna use some blue too. So let's just squirt some out. Whoa, that looks cool. Let's do a big dot there, do a big dot there. How about one right there? Oh, and one way over there. Whoa, that doesn't look like my bow tie, does it? No, that's okay though. Sometimes when you're being creative, yeah, actually all the times when you're being creative, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, like this. Woohoo! check it out. Whoa, yum, doesn't that look tasty? Yum, and hey, watch this. I'm gonna do another Big blob. Yeah, a blue. Oh, I will just finish that all the way across there. And then I'll put some orange on top of that. Wow. Now, does that look tasty? Or does that look tasty? Yum! <laughs> These are so tasty! Whoa! That has been so much fun making all these sweet treats with you, hasn't it? Yeah! I want to give a special thanks to Jennifer at Peony Bakery in Seattle, Washington. Wow, she did such a good job and they are so yummy! <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa, hey, it's me, Flippy, and I have a really cool fire truck here. <laughs> it looks just like a real life fire truck. 
with the hose and horns, honk, 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 <laughs> and some really big wheels and tires. <laughs> I think it would be so cool to be a real life firefighter. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at it. It's a real life firefighter pole. Ooh. <laughs> hey, let's slide down to the bottom. Okay, let's do it on the count of three. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa. I'm a little bit dizzy after that. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's a firefighter. Hello. <laughs> I think it's a really important job to be a firefighter because they help save people's lives and put out fires with a really big water hose. <laughs> hey, look, that's another job you could be. You could be a pilot. Yeah, and fly really big airplanes. <laughs> hey, you could also be an engineer. Ooh, well, what does an engineer do? They're really good at math. Yeah, like adding up numbers and subtracting numbers. Ooh, and they plan all types of things so that other people can build them. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> hey. What do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> that sounds really cool. I want to be that too. <laughs> hey, I have a really cool idea. How about you and I go to this place where we can pretend to do all kinds of different jobs. Oh, that would be so exciting and fun. And then you can pick your favorite job. <laughs> okay, will you go with me today? <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's go. I'll see you there. <laughs> hey, we made it to Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. <laughs> yeah, and I am so excited to learn all about jobs. Let's go. <laughs> this is one of my favorite places. This is a pizza oven inside of a pizza restaurant. Ooh. One job that you can have when you grow up is to be a chef. Ooh. Chefs are so cool. <laughs> yeah, chefs are in charge of cooking all of the food at a restaurant. And I really like cooking pizza. <sighs> it's so tasty. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about you and I make a pizza together? <laughs> okay, here we go. First, we need one of these pizza paddles to put the pizza in the really hot oven because we don't want to touch it with our hands. <laughs> okay, we got that and we'll get a metal plate. Hmm, so first things first, we need to start with the pizza dough. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the pizza dough right here. Ooh. And sometimes when you get the pizza dough, it's crumpled up into a little ball. So yeah, stretch it, and sometimes spin it, whoa, <laughs> like this, and that helps to make it look like a circle. Yeah, look, it's a circle. <laughs> Good job. Okay, put the pizza dough down, and now we get to put on some yummy toppings. <laughs> hey, do you have a favorite pizza topping? Uh, I like that one too. Okay, let's get started. Okay. We'll put on some tomato sauce. Oh, and my favorite cheese. Oh, I love pizza with lots of cheese. Okay, we'll put the cheese there. And now we can put all the toppings. We have some spinach. Ooh, so tasty. And we have black olives. Whoa. And they're all sliced up. Yeah, put those there. We have, whoa. Woo. Do you know what these are? Yeah, these are mushrooms. We'll put these on too. We'll put on some onions, ooh. <laughs> and then once you get your pizza made, then put it into the oven. You'll wait. And it looks like our pizza is delicious and all done. Yeah. 
<laughs> and now we get to go put it in a box. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, you did a really good job making a pizza with me. And now it's my favorite part. <gasps> we get to eat the pizza. <gasps> mm, this pizza is really tasty. Mm -hmm. And that's because you helped me make it. Aw, <laughs> thanks so much. Wow, that was so cool learning about being a chef and making a lot of yummy pizza. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, look over here. Whoa, there are so many different types of animals. I love animals. Hey, do you have a favorite kind of animal? <laughs> yeah, I like that animal too. Whoa, look, we have some kitty cats. And we have, hmm, this looks like a really big puppy dog. Hello, puppy dog. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, look, we have a really colorful parrot and a bunny rabbit. <laughs> yeah, let's go get a closer look. Come on. Look at this place. This place is a veterinarian's office. Yeah, a veterinarian or a vet. And that's a person that takes care of hurt or sick animals. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look, we have some really cute animals here. Hello. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is such a cute puppy, but we want to make sure that this puppy is okay. So the first thing you can do is take it to get an MRI. Yeah. An MRI. It's basically a scanner that uses magnets to take pictures of this puppy, but not pictures on the outside where it's smiling. <laughs> pictures of all the stuff inside, like its bones, to make sure they're not broken and this puppy is doing really okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, puppy. Whoa, look at it. The MRI is showing the inside of this puppy's leg. Whoa, that's Pretty cool. <laughs> well, this puppy seems to be pretty okay, but it looks like it hurt its leg. So we're gonna take care of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. The first thing we wanna do is put a bandage on its leg. So I'll use some dots. Oh, look, <laughs> we did it. We bandaged up this puppy. He's gonna be all better real soon. And the next thing we wanna do is give this puppy some medicine. Here you go, puppy. Ah, ah, <laughs> He's happy and feeling better already. <laughs> yeah. And the last thing we wanna do is we wanna put this cone around its head because sometimes puppies get really playful and they take off their bandages. We don't wanna take it off until he's all better. <laughs> <laughs> he is so cute. <laughs> yeah. I love being a veterinarian. Being a vet with you was really fun because we got to learn about animals and take care of them if they get sick or hurt. <laughs> Whoa, this was awesome! Whoa, look at what it is! It's a fire truck! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, fire trucks are so cool! And look at this! It has really big wheels and tires! Whoa! <laughs> and really bright headlights and a metal bumper. <laughs> I bet it would be really fun to ride in one of these. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> wow, it is so much fun riding in a fire truck. And look up here. Yeah, this right here is the firefighter's siren. And it goes like this. Yeah, when a firefighter has to go and help people from a fire, they turn this on and they honk their horns. <laughs> and that lets everyone know in the area that there's an emergency and they should move off the street. Yeah, so they can get there nice and quick and safely. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. This is a very important part of a fire truck. This is the fire ladder and it's really helpful for helping firefighters get up to really high buildings 
to save people and to use their hose to put out the fires. Oh look, and these are the valves where you hook up the hose. But this is a really big fire hose. It's not like a regular hose you might have in your yard. <laughs> it's really, really, really powerful to push out the fires and make everyone safe. <laughs> yeah, fun! Look at this! This is the fire pole! Whoa! The fire pole is really helpful because in a firehouse, the firefighters, they live up on the second floor and the fire truck is on the first floor. So the pole helps them not have to take the stairs. <laughs> yeah! Oh! Can you see this? Yeah! This is a firefighter's uniform. It is so cool because it's fireproof. Yeah, if you or I were in a fire, that would be really dangerous because our clothes are flammable. They can catch on fire, but not a firefighter. They can go and save you because they're fireproof. Whoa, did you see the helmet? Yeah, look at this. This firefighter has a really cool yellow helmet and that protects their head from anything that might fall on it. Ooh, whoa, did you see this? <laughs> yeah. This is the really powerful fire hose. Whoa, this is so cool. There are so many different uh, adjustment valves. And look, it's really, really big so that it can have a very powerful spray to put out all the fires. <laughs> yeah. Wow, maybe one day you and I can be firefighters too. We can help save people. But to be a firefighter, you have to be really, really brave. Yeah, brave. Hey. Do you know what being brave means? Yeah, when you're brave, that means you might be scared of something, but you do it anyway, because you're gonna help, help people and keep them safe. <laughs> well, I really wanna do a job that will help people too. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. Yeah, a job that you can do when you grow up is being a nurse. <laughs> yeah! Being a nurse is a really great job because you help take care of others and make sure they get better when they might be sick. <laughs> Let's go see everything that a nurse does! Yeah! Whoa! Look at this! Did you see it? This right here is a skeleton! Whoa! <laughs> there are so many bones! Yeah, bones. Do you know what a bone is? Yeah, these are different types of bones. And a bone is what helps make you up. Yeah, helps you stand nice and tall. Ooh, yeah, it's right under your skin. Bones are really important and it's important to take care of your bones. Well, it's really good to learn about bones because if you ever break a bone, you can go to a nurse and they can help you. Come on. Whoa, look at this box. It's really bright. Ah! <laughs> this will help us look at different kinds of x-rays. Yeah. Whoa, this right here, this is an x-ray. And it kind of just looks like a dark sheet. <laughs> but it actually is a picture of the inside of your hand. So when you put it up here, you can read the x-ray. Yeah, you can see all the different phones inside your hand. Whoa! And this is really helpful to take a picture, an x-ray of your hand, because if you break a bone, the nurse can say, hmm, you broke this bone and now we can fix it. Okay. <laughs> well, x-rays and nurses are pretty amazing. Whoa, and look at this over here. Another thing you do when you go see a nurse is you see how tall you are. Whoa, look, I'm five feet and 11 inches tall. That's pretty tall. <laughs> hey, do you know how tall you are? Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty tall too. And I bet when you grow up, you'll be even taller. Maybe five foot 11 or six foot or six foot one inch or seven feet tall. Whoa, that's really tall. <laughs> Being a nurse is an amazing job. Maybe one day I'll be a nurse when I grow up and I can help make people feel better. <laughs> yeah! Well, 
This was really exciting. Hey, I'll see you in just one second. Woo! Hey! <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all those different types of jobs. <laughs> there were a lot of them. Whoa! <laughs> hey, which one was your favorite job? <laughs> yeah, I like that one a lot too. It was really fun doing that with you. <laughs> Whoa! Look at this over here! Come on! Whoa! <laughs> Do you see what it says? Curiosity Corner! Whoa! That means it's time for the Curiosity Corner, where you and I get to learn all types of things. <laughs> hmm. But I wonder what we're going to learn today. I guess you and I are just going to have to find out. I'm so excited. Let's go. <laughs> hey, welcome to the Curiosity Corner, where we get to paint a really beautiful picture together. <laughs> and it looks like we have everything we need. We have our paints. Ooh, <laughs> look, we have three different colors. Blue, yellow, and red. <laughs> These colors are really important because they're primary colors. And primary colors are used to mix, get mixed up and make every other color in the rainbow. So we're gonna use these to paint a beautiful picture. Well, we're gonna need our palette with paints and a paintbrush. Okay, so let's wet our brush first. Then we get the paint. Okay, so first we wanna make a really cool orange, because it's my favorite fruit and favorite color. So we'll start with some yellow. Whoa, <laughs> it's so fun to mix up the paints. We're gonna make a circle. <laughs> Whoa, look, we made a yellow circle, but it's not quite the right color. So now we're gonna add another primary color, red. Just a little bit of red and a little bit of water. And then you can mix it up to make an orange. Whoa, look at how pretty that color is. It has little bits of red and little bits of yellow and a lot of bit of orange. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun learning about colors with you and painting a really pretty picture. It's time for me to go wash out my brush. <laughs> Oops, looks like we got some traffic here. <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all those different kinds of jobs with you. <laughs> Whoa, there were so many different kinds. <laughs> well, even if you didn't pick your favorite today, that's okay. You have all the time in the world. <laughs> Just keep on exploring and being curious, and I'm sure you'll find what you will want to do when you grow up. <laughs> well, I'm having a lot of fun with these trucks. <laughs> this fire truck and recycling truck. Whoa, and this construction vehicle with an excavator arm. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. <laughs>It's me, Flippy, and today we're here at Medieval Times in Orlando, Florida. Whoa! And look at it! It's a giant castle! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! We are at Medieval Times! That was a really long time ago, like all the way in the 11th century. Whoa! <laughs> Did you know back in Medieval Times, people didn't drive in cars? Ring, 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 ring! No, instead they rode horses. <laughs> so silly. Hey, have you ever wondered what it was like in medieval times? Yeah, me too. Well, today you and I get to go in the Orlando castle and learn all about it. <laughs>
Yeah! Maybe we can even see a real life night. That would be so cool. <laughs> Come on, let's find out. Whoa, look at it. It's a real life horse. Hello, Mr. Horse. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's so sweet. Today, we're here at the village stable. Yeah. A stable is where the horses get to eat yummy food <laughs> and take naps. <laughs> yeah, and get all ready and geared up for the tournament. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you know what sound a horse makes? <laughs> yeah, that's right. They neigh. You <laughs> neigh. <laughs> neigh. Hey, will you neigh like a horse with me? <laughs> okay, awesome. Here we go. Nay! 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 <laughs> so silly. Well, this is a really nice horse, but how about you and I go help get the horses all geared up for the tournament? Come on, let's go! Whoa! Look at it! This table has all the gear that we're gonna need to get the horses all ready for the tournament. Yeah, and look at this! Whoa! <laughs> yeah. This, this is a brush to help get all the dust and the dirt out of the horse's back. Yeah. <laughs> this is a body brush, so it's for the body of the horse. Whoa. And look at these ones right here. Hey, spiky. <laughs> yeah, these are brushes for the horse's mane and tail. Yeah, they have longer bristles so that they can get through the hair, kind of like the hair on your head. Ooh. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, and look at this. This is everything we need to put on the horse. We have the saddle pad. Yeah, this saddle pad is really soft and squishy. Ooh, squish, 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 squish. <laughs> and this goes on the horse first to make sure that the saddle is super comfy. Yeah. Whoa, and look at it. This is a really big saddle. The saddle can whew, be kind of heavy, and it goes on the back of the horse so that the knights can ride all around. <laughs> and it buckles in, so it's kind of like a belt for the horse. Woo! <laughs> we'll just clip that in, get on top, and ride the horse super fast. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, and this, this is the last thing that we need to put on top of the horse. This is a comparison. Yeah, and this comparison is the color green and brown. <laughs> yeah, good job. Yeah, the comparison helps the knight tell one horse and knight from another horse and knight. So they don't all look the same in their metal armor and the white horses. Yeah, so this comparison, this will go over the saddle last. Well, that's everything we need. Now it's time to get ready to get the horse ready for the tournament. Okay. First, let's grab a brush. Come on. Oh, hello. Hey, look. This is a really beautiful horse. Hello. His name is Humo. Hi, Humo. <laughs> First, let's brush Humo's fur. His hair. <laughs> Horses don't have fur. So silly. <laughs> Yeah, brush, 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 all the dust, brush off all the dust. <laughs> yeah, and now that we've cleaned Humo and got all the dust and dirt out of his back, we can put on the saddle pad, the saddle, and the comparison. Let's go. We helped Humo get all dressed up for the tournament. And look, now he's the color green and brown. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was so much fun helping Humo get all geared up. But now I think it's time for you and me to get all dressed up for the tournament ourselves. <laughs> okay, we're about to go, but I 
think Humo's done a really good job being a horse, and he's had all of his yummy vegetables and fruit for dinner. So we're gonna give him a sugar cube. <laughs> Hello, good job, Humo. Woo, <laughs> that tickles, woo. <laughs> Humo, you're such a good horsey. Well, now it's time to go get dressed up ourselves. Come on. Hey, it's me, Knight Flippy. <laughs> That's so silly, I'm not a real knight. But today, you and I get to learn about what it was like to be a knight a thousand years ago. Whoa, that was a really long time ago. Have you ever wondered what it was like to be a knight? Hmm, well, you had to be brave and you had to ride horses. Nay, 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 <laughs> so silly. And you had to be strong and kind. Whoa, on second thought, it actually is pretty tricky being a real knight. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Look at it! A real knight! And now it's time to knight Sir Blippi. I am so excited because you and I don't only get to learn about knights, but I get to become a knight. But first, I need to complete three knights challenges. Whoa! And look at this! This is the first Knights Challenge. It's called the Big Rings Challenge. <laughs> yeah. So the way to win the Big Rings Challenge is to take a lance, which is like a really long stick, and to put it through two rings in a row, one here and one way down there. <laughs> if you only get one, you got to do it again until you get both to complete the Knights Challenge. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be so much fun. But first, I need to get some Knights gear. Come on. Whoa, look at this. It's a real life Knights Lance. Whoa. And this is really heavy. This is what I'm gonna use to try to complete the Big Rings Challenge. Hmm. But what's a Knight without its trusty steed? And hey, look, this is my trusty horse, Brownie. Hey, hello, Brownie. Hello! Ooh. <laughs> okay, I have my lance and I have brownie, so we're all ready to do the knight's challenge! Let's go! Yay! Okay, here we go! Ready, brownie? Yay! <laughs> okay, I'm ready to knight's challenge! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Uh-oh! I only got one ring! That means that Brownie and I are gonna have to try the Knight's Challenge one more time! Nay! Brownie thinks so too. Okay, let's go! <laughs> okay, let's try this again! I think I can do it! Let's go! Whoa, that was really hard. I'm getting tired after that night's challenge. But look, we got both of the rings. <laughs> Thanks, Brownie, for helping me out. Hey, <laughs> that was so much fun. And now it's time to move on to the second night's challenge. Let's go find out. Come on. Whoa, Brownie. <laughs> yeah, we completed the first night's challenge. We're really close to becoming a knight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the second knight's challenge is even harder, needing agility and strength and really good horse riding skills. <laughs> yeah, it's called the flag toss. It's when me and another knight will toss a flag back and forth three times. And if you catch it all three times, then you complete the challenge. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna need a little bit of help. So my friend, Sir David, is gonna help me out. Okay. Ready, Sir David? Ready. Okay, here we go. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We caught the flag three times. <laughs> this is so much fun. Thanks, Brownie. Nay! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so all we have left is the third challenge. And it's a really, really tricky one. It's called the Knight's Dress Up Challenge. 
I have to get all geared up with all the night clothes in under 10 seconds. Whoa! I don't think I'm gonna need your help on this one, Brownie. Bye bye I'll see you later at the stables. Nay! <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I think I'm all ready. Put the time on the clock. Here we go! Whoa, this armor is so cool. Yeah, we did it. We did all three of the Knight's challenges. And now I get to be Knight Blippi. Woohoo! I'm so excited that I think you and I should do a victory dance. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that was so awesome. Now I get to be a knight. <laughs> Not so fast, Blippi. Oh, hey, Sir David. There's still two more challenges left. Huh, two more challenges? But we already completed three. I guess two more won't be so hard. So what are the next two challenges? Well, first you have to learn the knight's code. Whoa, do you know what the knight's code is? Me neither. Uh, Sir David, what's the knight's code? A knight is sworn to valor. Okay, so we need to be really brave. His heart knows only virtue. Okay, so that means, hmm, we'll be really kind. His blade defends the helpless and his might upholds the weak. Hmm. That means you should always help others who need some help. And his words speak only truth. Always tell the truth. <laughs> Those are easy. We can do that. What's the other challenge? Well, the other challenge is the javelin toss. Whoa, that sounds like it's going to be really, really hard. But hey, I got all my knight's armor and I think we can do it. Yeah. OK, here we go. Ooh. I think I'm all ready to go. Come on. Wow, I can't believe we get to meet the queen and start the knighting ceremony. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. I, Doña Maria Isabella, queen of this castle and ruler of this realm, W. Blippi, once, twice, and thrice as knight of the realm. <laughs> yeah! We did it! <laughs> Good job! Thanks for helping me complete all of the knight's challenges. They were really tricky, but we did a really good job. <laughs> it was so much fun learning all about knights from the 11th century, which was really, really long ago. And it was nice that we learned that knights aren't only strong, but they're kind and they like to help others. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah! B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi! Good job! <laughs> well, I guess it's Sir Blippi now. <laughs> so silly. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye! Oh, uh-oh, uh, <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. Whoa, and this is really fun rock climbing, but it's a little tricky. <laughs> hey, that was so much fun. Hey, let's do some awesome exercising. Let's do jumping jacks. Don't forget to stretch. Oh, <laughs> exercising is so much fun. And always remember, after you exercise, to stay hydrated. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! <laughs> Look at it! It's a water bottle. Whoa, this is really important to always have a water bottle after you exercise. <sighs> I'm feeling refreshed already. You know, it's also good to always eat fruits and vegetables and other healthy snacks after you exercise so you can keep your energy to keep on playing. Whoa, I think you and I should play some more. Look at these cool blocks. Whoa, there are so many colors. Red, green, blue, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that was so much fun. Well, I think it's about time for you and I to eat some healthy snacks. And I know just the place 
that will have fun and exciting ways to eat fruits and vegetables. How about you and I make some tasty smoothies today? <laughs> yeah, would you like to come with me? Aw, thanks. <laughs> Let's go. I'll see you there. We're here today at Ross Smoothie Co. in Tampa, Florida. <laughs> yeah, come on. Hmm. I sure wish there was someone here to help us get a healthy snack. Welcome to Raw Smoothie Co. <laughs> hey, it's a person. I bet they can help us find a tasty treat. <laughs> Hello, my name's Flippy. My name is Gian. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Well, we've been looking for a really healthy snack. Think you can help us? I think I can. Oh, well, we've been doing a lot of dancing and exercising. Hmm. What do you think will be the best healthy snack? Hmm, I would say a smoothie bowl. Oh, a smoothie bowl? <laughs> yeah! That sounds delicious! Um, but what's a smoothie bowl? A smoothie bowl is an all-organic combination of fruits, vegetables, nutrients, vitamins, and all things healthy. Whoa! That sounds perfect! And we like to try new things, especially if they're healthy. Hey, you know what healthy is, right? Healthy is something that's really good for your body and your muscles. <laughs> yeah, and helps you grow up big and strong. <laughs> Yeah, let's try that smoothie bowl. You're not Blippi, come on back. Oh, let's go! <laughs> I'm so excited to make a smoothie bowl. Hey, Gian. Hey, Blippi. Well, what kind of smoothie bowl are we gonna make? We're gonna make an acai bowl today. An acai, acai. Close, it's acai. Whoa, acai. <laughs> That's pretty tricky. <laughs> Sounds really healthy and tasty though. It is. It's absolutely amazing for you. Are you ready? Yeah! All right. Step one, we got to put on gloves. Okay. We got to make sure to put on the gloves. One glove. Two gloves. <laughs> Great. Next, we got to break up our acai packet. That Whoa. should be good. <laughs> That's a really cool hammer. Now we gotta put it in our smoothie canister. Ooh, this will be so tasty when it's all blended up. <laughs> there you go. Oh, look, it's the color purple. Ooh. <laughs> okay, Gian, so what do we do next? Well, we gotta put more ingredients in there. Next is banana. Whoa, I love bananas. <laughs> this is gonna make it extra yummy. All right, we're gonna make it really tasty with some agave. Whoa, agave? Have you heard of agave before? <laughs> Me neither. Well, what's that? All right, agave is a really healthy sweetener. It's not like sugar, it's much better for you to come from plants. Ooh, <laughs> great. Okay, so we got bananas, and we got acai, and we got agave. What's next? Well, we gotta finish it off with some almond milk. Ooh, okay, I love almonds. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so where do we go next? Go over here to our ice machine. Grab a little bit of ice. Okay. And then we have to blend. Okay, let's go to the blender. You ready, Blippi? I'm all ready. This is gonna be so much fun blending it. And you know what the best thing to do while we pass the time and wait for it to finish getting blended? Dance party! Yeah! That looks so cool! Yep. <laughs> Let's keep going. Now we have to actually build the acai bowl. Ooh, and look at all these really tasty ingredients. There's all kinds of really cool things here. Yeah, we have the acai packet, and we have some spinach. Ooh, <laughs> silly gummy. And, yeah, do you know what this is? Mmm, crunchy granola. Whoa. Hey, and Gion, what are these white little flakes? Those are coconut flakes. Oh, coconuts? Ooh, <laughs> I love coconuts. These will be really good too. And uh, this is, 
What about this? That's healthy chocolate. It's called cacao. Cacao. Whoa. We'll put some of that in too. And what about all these little seeds? Those little buddies are chia seeds and flax seeds. Whoa. I love seeds. <laughs> hey. Whoa. I bet these seeds will be really tasty if you're a bird. But they're also really tasty if you want to stay nice and healthy. Whoa. And then I know what these are. Look. A strawberry. Mmm. <laughs> and a banana. Whoa. We should definitely put these in. Okay. All right. Are you ready to build a bowl? I'm all ready. <laughs> all right. We go back to our acai. Okay. First step, let's go ahead and put some granola in there. Next, I got to grab my spatula over here, and we're going to go ahead and put the acai in the bowl with the granola. Whoa. It was really hard and frozen, but once we blended it up, look, it looks like a smooth kind of paste. Oh, it almost looks like ice cream. <laughs> yeah, that's so tasty. <laughs> Once we get our acai in the bowl, gonna flatten it out, smooth it out, make it look really nice. At Raw Smoothie Co, we're extra healthy, so we put greens in everything. Whoa, what kind of greens are those? Here we have organic spinach. Mmm, spinach, mmm. Spinach makes you really strong. <laughs> All right. Now, we're gonna put some coconut flakes on top. Whoa, coconut flakes. <laughs> Remember those from before? Yeah, really tasty stuff. Now, the best part. We gotta put our fruit on top. <laughs> yeah, I love fruit. So what fruits are we gonna put on it? I think we're gonna go with strawberry and banana today. Perfect, okay. All right, so get a scoop of our strawberry. We're gonna put that in here. That bowl not only looks healthy and delicious, but really, really colorful. <laughs> All right. Next step is we gotta put our banana, and for that, we're gonna have to cut it. Okay. Make sure before you use ever a knife, you wanna make sure our grown ups using the knife, or you ask permission. Mm -hmm. I'm a professional blippy, so I think I got this. Oh, look at it. He peeled off the banana, and now. He's cutting it up into slices. Whoa, and it'll fit perfectly in the acai bowl. I'm gonna chop it up nice and small. Now we're gonna put it in our acai bowl. Get our acai bowl close. Next step, we gotta put our healthy chocolate, cacao. Whoa, look at all that chocolate. Can I put a little extra chocolate on? You absolutely can. Here, you can go ahead and do the next scoop. Okay, here we go. Let's scoop up some chocolate. Whoa! It's raining chocolate! Yummy! <laughs> oh, that was really good. Last step, Blippi, and then you can almost eat it. It's seeds, you know Whoa, it. Look at all the seeds! Whoa! There's so many seeds. Here we go. It's gonna rain seeds! Whoa, that was so much fun! Is that it? This is it, Blippi. There you go. Whoa, look at this. It's so delicious and colorful. We have the granola and our blended acai. Oh, our delicious toppings. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited to eat this delicious smoothie bowl. Hey, Gian, this is a smoothie bowl because we use a spoon to eat it and it's in a bowl. But what if I wanted to put this in a cup and drink it through a straw? Well, we can make a smoothie. Oh, a smoothie? I would love to eat a smoothie. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Hmm. This looks really tasty. But All right. Think you could teach us how to make a smoothie? Yeah. And actually, at Raw Smoothie Co., we'll make a green smoothie, so it's extra healthy. Whoa. I can't wait to make a green smoothie. But first, I want a little bite. So what's the first step to make a healthy smoothie? First, let's grab our smoothie canister. And so what are we gonna put inside? Well, let's start with the easiest ingredients to blend. Okay. So let's start off with our juice. I love juice, especially fruit juice. <laughs> Next, we're gonna put healthy greens in our smoothie. Ooh, I love spinach and healthy greens. Okay. Okay, so what next? 
I'm gonna let you take care of the next part. Okay. I think we'll, I know what we're gonna do next. We'll put in some fruit. That's right. So go ahead and put in some banana. Okay, here we go. Got some banana. And hmm, put some of this fruit in. Do you know what fruit this is? Yeah, this is a tasty mango. Okay, here we go. And this is one of my favorites. The last fruit we need is some pineapple. <laughs> yeah. Let's put some seeds and then ice in. So just put some seeds in there? Yeah, why don't you throw some seeds in there, Hoodie? Okay. Rain and seeds. Okay, let's go on to the next step. All right, let's put some ice in there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And into the blender. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so now what do we do with it? Now we have to blend it. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Are you ready to try your smoothie, Blippi? I am so ready and excited. <laughs> Let's try it. Here we go. This looks so tasty. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like the smoothie bowl, but we ate that in a bowl with a spoon. But this one, <laughs> this smoothie, ooh, thanks, Gian, has a straw. Okay, put that in there. Hmm. We'll get the little paper off. Oh, can you help me, Gian? Absolutely. Ooh, I am so excited to taste this smoothie. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, this smoothie is so tasty. And it's really healthy too. I'm gonna have another sip. I'll see you soon. Hey! Whoa, that was so much fun learning how to make smoothies at Raw Smoothie Co. <laughs> yeah! They are so tasty <sighs> and healthy because they're organic. Ooh. <laughs> hey, what's that over there? Ooh, look at it. It says chef's table. Ooh. <laughs> I bet we're going to eat some yummy foods. <laughs> Whoa, and look at that. It's a picture of a tongue. Bah, bah. <laughs> so silly. Why would there be a picture of a tongue? Hmm. Oh, because our tongue uh, helps us to taste. <laughs> it helps us to taste because our tongue has taste buds. Yeah, and that tells our brain if something is sweet mm, <laughs> or sour. <laughs> Whoa, taste test. I bet we're gonna taste all kinds of new foods. <laughs> I'm so excited. Let's go see what we're gonna try. Come on. Whoa, look, we're here at the chef's table. Ooh, and look at all these little containers. Yeah, I bet there's food for us to taste in each one of them. <laughs> Let's start right here. Ooh, look at it. It's a grapefruit. Mm. <laughs> I bet this grapefruit is really tasty. Okay, let's try it. Ooh, that grapefruit tastes really good. Hmm, it tastes kind of bitter. Yeah, not really super sweet, but it doesn't taste bad. It just tastes kind of bitter. Ooh, <laughs> so yummy. Okay, gotta figure out what's in this next container. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> look at it. Yeah, I bet you know what food this is. It's a yummy pretzel. Mm. <laughs> Let's take a bite. This pretzel is really tasty. Yeah, it's really salty. You see? It's so rough and bumpy because of all the little, little crystals of salt. <laughs> yeah, and that salt tastes really good on my taste buds. Mm. <laughs> bye bye, pretzel. <laughs> mm. Oh, <laughs> look at it. This is a little triangle. <laughs> yeah, it's a triangle because it has one, two, three sides. 
Yeah, look at it. <laughs> this triangle is from a watermelon. I can't wait to taste this one. Mmm. This watermelon is really sweet. I love foods that are sweet because they make me so happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have some more sweet watermelon later. Ooh, okay, we're almost to the end. I'm so excited for this next food. Ooh, this one's a really small one. This is a lime. It's the color green. Let's give it a try. Mmm, ooh, <laughs> woo. This has a really, Really, really cool flavor. It's sour. This lime is so sour. Ooh, it makes my face and body do all kinds of silly shapes. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna taste it one more time. Woo! <laughs> I really like that sour lime. Woo! I feel so awake. Whoa! <laughs> okay, we're on the last food. Let's see what's inside. It's a pepper, ooh, and it's green. There's an orange pepper and a red pepper. I think I'm gonna try the orange pepper because it's my favorite color. Okay, here we go. But just take a teeny bite. <laughs> ooh, that pepper is really spicy. Woo. There's like a dance party in my mouth. Whoa! Ah, ah, ah. Ooh, it's so spicy. I think I need to eat some water. Ooh. Is there any wa water? We gotta find some water. Ooh. We got the water. Oh, better. <laughs> I like spicy food, but sometimes you need a little water after you eat it because it makes your mouth Ooh, so energized. Ooh. <laughs> well, this was so much fun. I hope we can taste some more foods together soon. <laughs> Whoa, I had such a fun day with you today. We learned about so many different things, like moving your body is healthy exercise. And it's important to fill your body with really healthy foods and snacks. Mmm. <laughs> It's also really fun that we learned how to make smoothies and we taste with our tongue. <laughs> so silly. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ooh, I almost forgot. Always keep yourself hydrated. <sighs>Washington, and this looks like a secret go-kart track. Yeah! Oh, I sure do love go-karts. Have you ever ridden a go-kart before? Yeah, they're so fast. Grabbing that steering wheel, round the corners, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I was just acting like I was driving a go-kart. Oh. Speaking of go-karts, yeah, this thing is awesome. Hey, what color go-kart is this? Yeah, the main color of this go-kart is the color red. Yeah, I do like the color red. Hey, look at the number up here. Every go-kart has to have a number. So then you know when you cross the finish line if you won. <laughs> and this number right here, what number is it? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this 
this number is five. Wow, whoa, this is so cool. And do you see these wheels and tires? Yeah, they have some dirt and mud on them. Someone must have been racing this go-kart. Yeah, and actually these tires, yeah, they're not normal tires like on a car or a truck, how it has tread. These are nice and flat. Yeah, better for speed. <laughs> oh, hey, look, this is the engine of the go-kart. Whoa, there's so many parts. One way to turn it on is this. You pull it up and then it gets the motor turning and it turns it on, provides the power so you can go fast. <laughs> Whoa, back here, look at this. This is a chain and this is how the engine provides all the power to the rear wheels and tires. Whoa, I am so excited to ride this. Oh, speaking of riding it, yeah, this is where I'm gonna sit. This is the seat. Oh, it sure does look comfortable, doesn't it? <laughs> Woo, and this is the steering wheel. Do you see when I turn the wheel, it turns the wheels and tires? Whoa, that looks fun. Oh, and last but not least, right up here. This is where you put your feet. Push down right here for the brake. And on the other side, this is for the gas. Speaking of gas, yeah, the engine needs gas. And right here, this is where you fill it up. Okay, it looks like we explored the whole go-kart. So it must be time to drive and race the go-kart. Oh geez, I am so excited. Yeah. Uh, are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait a second. I need all my safety gear. Three, two, one. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, my safety gear. Yeah, I have my helmet on, my goggles, my gloves, and that means I am ready to race. Yeah, you have to wear a helmet so then it keeps your head nice and safe. You have to wear gloves so then you can hold on to the steering wheel nice and tight. And you wear, yeah, the goggles so then dirt and mud doesn't flip in your face. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I forgot to turn on the go-kart. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. Make sure everything's turned on. And remember what I said earlier? We need to give it a pull. This go-kart is the color black, and its number is five, eight, nine, whoa! Hey, who are you? Kylie. Kylie? Well, it looks like you're my competition. Are you ready to race? Yes. Whoa! Looks like Kylie is ready. Oh, hey, another competitor. Oh, what's your name? Lincoln. Lincoln? Whoa, are you ready to race? Yeah. Who do you think's gonna win? Me. Whoa, that sounds like some tough competition. All right, looks like Lincoln is ready, looks like Kylie is ready, and me, Blippi, is ready to race. All right, let's start those engines. Mark. 
get set. Go! Fun out! Yeah, that was so much fun driving this go kart and racing this go kart. Oh, geez, this red go kart. Yeah, the red number five go kart did me so good today. We had a safe day riding go karts together. Good job. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? E-L-I, P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. All right, I should probably take another lap. <laughs> See you soon, bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy, and today we'll be meeting some amazing sea creatures. This is going to be awesome. Let's check them out. So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout, Flippy. It's me, Blippi, and look at where I'm at. Yeah, I'm at a marina. Yeah, marinas are a body of water where a bunch of boats live. Oh, <laughs> so cool. But hey, check this out. Wow. Today, we're at the Marine Life Center in Bellingham, Washington. And you and I are going to learn a lot about some cool creatures and fish. Yeah, I love fish. Woohoo, let's go. Nice to meet you, Casey. I'm Flippy. What are you doing? Well, I'm painting a picture of some of my ocean friends on the ceiling here. Wow. Are those sharks right there? They sure are. They're dog sharks. Oh, that's cool. Well, it's a very good painting. But hey, do you mind if I go explore the Marine Life Center? Please do. <laughs> wow. Check this place out. Wow. This is going to be so much fun learning about marine life. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, do you see that? That is a skate. Yeah, it's hard to see because it blends in so good with the rocks surrounding it. 
Yeah, just like how I kind of blend in with this creature right here, because we're both the color orange, the skate blends in with the rocks, and that is called camouflage. Whoa! Yeah, that helps keep it safe from its predators. Whoa! Whoa, check out this tank. <laughs> Looks like there's some cute fish in there. Hello, hey! Wow, they're just swimming around, and they look like they are having fun. Oh, what else is in here? Oh, looks like some seaweed and some rocks. Yeah, Casey says there's actually an eel in here. Whoa, and she's gonna come feed it. Yeah. Hey, Blippi, did you find the wolf eel? She's hiding inside of her den. Sometimes, if she's hungry, she'll come out and say hello. It looks like she has a grumpy face, but she's actually my friend. Sometimes she likes belly rubs and treats. Her favorite is shrimp. Let's see if we can get her to eat. Wow, such cool animals in here. I love all these creatures. Whoa, check it out. Wow, inside this tote, there is a kelp crab. Whoa, do you see him? Whoa. Look at him. Here, let me move this piece of kelp. Whoa, there he is. Whoa, the cool thing about this kelp crab, yeah, is it's camouflage. Yeah, he camouflages by eating things. If he starts to eat things that are light brown, then he starts to turn light brown himself. Or if he eats things that are dark brown, like this piece of kelp, then he blends in to that dark brown piece of kelp. Whoa, so cool. Oh, look, a shrimp. Hello, shrimp. You are so cute. You want to be pet? Yep, there you go. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Oh, it is so cute. Hey, speaking of shrimp, check this out. Whoa, doesn't that look like a shrimp? Yeah, it looks like the shell of the shrimp. Wow. Yeah, shrimp and crab, they do what's called molt. Yeah. That's where the outside of them, their shell, yeah, comes off of them. And this, whoa, <laughs> this is just a shrimp shell because it came off the shrimp. <laughs> oh, look at these critters. Wow, these are both hermit crabs. Whoa, yeah, they're crabs that are inside shells. Whoa. Check out what happens when I pick it up. It's gonna go inside the shell. All right. Whoa, did you see that? Whoa, yeah. It used to be outside the shell, but now it's inside the shell to protect itself. Okay, I'm gonna gently put it back right there. Whoa, look at this tank. Looks like there's some crabs in here fish. There's a lot of cool things in here. A lot of seaweed. Oh, do you see all those fish down there? Hello, fish. Hey, are you hungry? Yeah. Hey, check it out. Looks like I have some yummy food for these fish. Yeah, this is actually nutrient-dense food for the fish. Yeah, it's just like you and I eating vegetables, basically. Oh, <laughs> really good for us. All right, here you go, fish. All right. Right. Wow, look at all of these shells. They are so pretty. This one is so big. Look at it. Whoa, it's almost as big as my hand. Wow. Okay. Whoa, and this one is so shiny. Wow. Oh, and this one is so pokey. <laughs> wow. Oh, here's another pokey one. But those are little teeny pokes. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Oh, hey, what's this doing here? Look, it's a stuffed animal. And this stuffed animal is a stingray. Wee, wee. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we explore this area and see if we can find any more stuffed animals? <laughs> oh, check it out! A giant sea turtle! Whoa, 
Sea turtles are so cool. They're so graceful just swimming in the water. Flapping, flapping, flapping. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We have two salmon. Whoa, looks like one is spawning and the other one is not. Whoa, look at salmon go. Wow, salmon are some cool fish. They get so big. Yeah, these would be small salmon in the wild. Okay, let me set them right over here so they don't fall in there. Whoa, a giant sea lion. Well, this one would be really teeny, but sea lions get so big and they make the sound ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> That is so silly. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> okay, let's put you back right there. Whoa, you found another one. Wow, a giant clam. Look, it's like a hard shell. Yeah. Whoa, look, it opened up. And do you see what's inside? Yeah, we found a pearl. Whoa, that is so pretty. Whoa, so shiny. <laughs> I actually heard pearls get created from irritation. I think that's true. Whoa, look down here. Whoa, another shell. Yeah, this is a hermit crab. Yeah, check it out. See a crab? And then it actually goes inside its shell for protection, see? Yeah, it goes like this on the ground. And then it opens up. And then it crawls around. And then it goes inside. <laughs> okay, we'll keep you right there. Here you go. <laughs> Whoa, another one. Yeah, this is a fish. And do you see how flat it is? Yeah, it lays down flat. Its two eyes are on top of its body. Yeah, and it just hangs out on the bottom of the seafloor. And this is a halibut and halibuts can get so big. Yeah, this one would be a small one. <laughs> Whoa, this is so cute. <laughs> Do you know what kind of animal this is? Nay, nay. Yeah, that's a hint. Yeah, this is a seahorse. Yeah, it looks kind of like a horse, huh? Oh, cute swirly little tail. And look at what it has right in its little pouch. Little baby seahorses. Hey, wow, you're so colorful. Whoa. Okay, okay, let's see. Whoa, a couple more. Yeah, check this out. A killer whale. Yeah, an orca. Wow, they are so cute. Wow, an octopus. Octopuses are so smart. Yeah, and they have eight long tentacles. Woo! With suckers on the bottom to hold on to things. Okay, there you go. Oh, oh, looks like we have some whales right here. Oh, whales can get so big. They get massive and they breathe air. They go and then suck in air and they can go underwater and stay underwater for so long. Oh, hey, look, a beluga whale. Wow, it's so bright and white. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like snow. Yeah, beluga whales actually love to be in really cold, frigid water. <laughs> woo, woo. a lot of crabs in here today. Yeah, we do. There are so many of them. What kind of crabs are these? These are called graceful or slender crabs, and they look wow. a lot like a Dungeness crab. Have yeah. you ever seen a Dungeness before? Yeah, aren't they a little bigger than that? They sure are. Yeah. These are almost fully grown. Whoa, can we take one out and see it a little closer? Even better, we could probably take two and figure out which one's a boy and which one's a girl. Okay, that sounds like fun. 
<laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> we just got two crabs in here. All right. Okay, how do you tell if it's a boy or a girl on these? Oh, well, that's a great question. I get that a lot. So I like to start with the female crab, the girl crab, and we look at her belly, we flip her over gently on her back, she kind of calms down, and we look for a very wide triangle shape here compared to the boy. And that's because she's gonna have eggs inside her tummy there, and she needs extra room. The boy doesn't need that much room. Okay, so that one is a girl and that one is a boy? You got it, Flippy. Whoa, check it out. Wow, that is really cool. And I like acting like a crab. Wow, wasn't that so much fun learning about marine life together? Yeah, that was awesome. Seeing those cute fish and all those creatures. Wow, it's crazy how they live under the water and you and I live on the land. Yeah, it's really important for you and I to help keep the water nice and clean. Yeah! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Blippi. Good job. All right, well, I'm going to keep learning. <laughs> Come on, everyone, let's make learning fun.